hey guys welcome or welcome back today is going to be three hours of non-stop cleaning motivation so you can put me on and clean along with me for over three hours you don't have to stop and look for another video i'm just going to keep rolling and if you've been around for a while these videos are going to be familiar to you because i have posted them within the last six months but i picked some of my most motivating ones we are going to be doing tons of decluttering organizing, deep cleaning. We're going to be tackling my fridge, cleaning it out and organizing my freezer and fridge, decluttering my pantry, cleaning the blinds outside, you name it. We're going to be tackling it in today's video. So it is going to be tons of satisfying motivation. So I hope you all put me on and clean along with me. But if this is your first time watching, welcome. I'm so grateful that you're here with me. I really hope you decide to stick around and subscribe. I do upload cleaning motivation two times a week on Thursdays and Sundays. And I am a mom to four kids. I have two girls and two boys. So on my channel, I love sharing your relatable everyday messes. My house is always trashed. So the cleaning motivation never stops. And I love sharing those realistic moments with you guys so you don't feel alone. I'm definitely not the Pinterest perfect mom. I'm more of the everyday normal mom just trying to keep up with the chaos of life. So if you enjoy cleaning content and you want someone you can hang out with and chat with you can feel like you can relate to, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. But enough of me rambling. We're going to go ahead and get into all of this cleaning motivation. We're gonna be starting off in my boy's bedroom. I am now having the kids clean their rooms at least once a week. Typically it's on Fridays, but this day it was just so dirty. So I told Austin he needed to help me clean his room. He was gonna start picking up the toys. I wanted to wipe down the fan because it was so dusty. And then we were gonna vacuum and just get it tidied up in here. There are a lot of areas in the house that I really needed to tackle. Kind of a, just like forgotten areas, I guess you would say. Summertime is definitely my favorite time to do lots of deep cleaning and just cleaning those areas that I sometimes don't get to that often or as much as I would like to during the school year just because the school year is so hectic for me with all the kids and their schedules and sometimes we have sports and homework. It's just a lot so I love doing the deep cleaning, the decluttering, all of that during summertime because I can really focus my energy into doing that in between you know the fun stuff that we do during summer I just feel like I'm so much less rushed so today is the day where I wanted to do some of that deeper cleaning and tons of decluttering and organizing like I told you guys I have been putting off my freezers for a long time if y'all been watching my channel for a while you will know I have not deep cleaned the freezers since we moved into this house over two years ago. So it was majorly needed and it is such a transformation. I can't wait for you guys to see it. I'm so happy with how it turned out. It's just amazing how a few containers and bins can really make such a huge difference in keeping a space so much more organized. But as you can see, we got the boys bedroom nice and tidied up. The next area on my to-do list was to tackle the stairs because I've just been noticing how nasty they were on the walls and the railing. So that was definitely a spot that I wanted to do. And I always put it off because I work up such a sweat when I clean the stairs. Before I start tackling the stairs, I needed to clean the litter box really quick. And then I'm just going to go ahead and turn on my Yeedy robot vacuum to tackle the upstairs. I usually run this whenever I clean up the upstairs because if there's toys up here, it will, you know, get caught up on the toys. So preferably I like to clean up the upstairs and then run the robo vacuum but it's now time to tackle these stairs. This is such a workout, you guys, <laughs> vacuuming the stairs. And then I really wanted to wipe down the baseboards, the rails, the whole nine yards. 
If you guys have stairs in your house, let me know how often do you clean them and do you also dread vacuuming them like I do? I find it such a pain, but I have started using the cordless vacuum just like this before I would use the handheld one, which is really nice because you can definitely get in the cracks a lot better, but I figured, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum like this since I knew I wanted to clean the walls and the railing. So I wanted to make it just a little bit easier for me and it really was. It was much easier to vacuum the stairs like this. I bet you think that I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you as y'all can see, I had not only handprints and marks, but also pencil on the wall, thanks to my three-year-old who decided to color on the wall with a pencil. But thankfully, you know, pencil is easy to come off, but I had to remind him we only draw on paper. It's crazy. I have found these little pencil markings literally all around the house. Like, I don't know if he did it all in the same day or what, but I'm just like, what in the world? I found them in my bedroom. I found them all along the stairs, upstairs in the hallway. He was just marking everywhere. <laughs> but I went ahead and used a magic eraser to take the pencil off. This wall cleaner does a great job at getting off fingerprints and grime but for the pencil marks it didn't really take it off because I tried it up here and it just didn't fully take it off so I did have to go back in with my magic eraser to fully get the pencil marks off but as for dirt this does such a great job on my flat paint. I definitely recommend it. It makes such a big difference whenever I clean the walls. It really does brighten up the space and just make the house feel new again. Work things out so you don't let me go when I come real close. I don't want to get hurt cuz I'm not ready to give you my heart. Before I'm doing While I was cleaning the stairs, I also had my 12 year old daughter, Aubrey, cleaning the upstairs bathroom. That's part of her chores as well. So she was actually asking me where one of the cleaners was. She couldn't find it. So that's what she was doing. But it just helps during the summertime to have all the kids at home. I feel like I can really stay on top of the house and just keep it clean a little bit easier because the kids are old enough now to help me and it's just been really nice. I really enjoy summertime and having the kids at home with me. Yes, we have a lot more like tears and arguments, but it really is my favorite time of the year. For cleaning all of the wood surfaces, I'm gonna be using my Aunt Fanny spray, which I have been loving. I mentioned this in a previous video that this is a all natural cleaner that I've recently found off of Amazon and I love it. Not only does it leave my wood looking shiny and gets it nice and clean, but it smells so good. It's a nice lemon scent. So if you guys are looking for a good all natural wood cleaner, definitely check this one out. Stella is so sweet. She is just following me around everywhere I go. She's been doing so good with crate training and potty training. I've pretty much been letting her roam the house um, even whenever I'm not really watching her and she has been doing so good. So I think I'm like 95% sure that she's potty trained. I'm so proud of her. She's seriously so smart but thought I would update you guys on how she's been doing with potty training, especially because I had one subscriber message me a couple weeks ago saying like, oh, why is your dog always in doggy jail? And for anyone who does crate training, you would know that crate training, you put them in there whenever you can't have your eyes on them fully and giving them your undivided attention. That way they don't have any accidents that go unnoticed. So I am a huge believer in crate training. I've always crate trained my dogs and they have always caught on to potty training fairly quickly. So 
I'm a huge advocate, like to each their own. I know crate training isn't for everyone, but as you can tell, she's a very happy puppy and she's only in her crate whenever I couldn't like fully keep eyes on her. But now she's been doing so good that she's pretty much out of her crate all day long. Unless of course we leave the house or, you know, at nighttime I crate my dogs just so we don't have any unwanted accidents. All right, you guys, finally getting to organizing my freezer. I have put this off for seriously far too long. We're gonna be doing not only this freezer, but also my freezer outside. I ordered some new containers, so I'm so excited to get this thing organized. So y'all know me, anytime I declutter a space, I love taking everything out and especially in this freezer, I for sure needed to take everything out because it was so cluttered. You couldn't even see what was in here because it was just thrown. So I'm pulling everything out. We're going to wipe it down. I'm just going to be wiping it down with a warm washcloth, just warm hot water, no soap, no sprays. You guys know I'm trying to keep it natural. So I just wanted to wipe it down, especially because when you try to spray stuff into the freezer, it just like freezes up and it makes it really hard to wipe it down. So I have found that just using a hot towel just makes it so much easier to clean it. And if anything was super dirty, I just went ahead and took it out and cleaned it in the sink and then put it back into its spot. But yeah, quite the mess in my freezer. Never met someone like you Oh, to your mama, she a blessing There's nothing that I would undo We'll never hit the yes, snows on you Always trying to show you something new to you Only want to treat you right Never leave your side Always on my mind, I memorize Fantasize everything about you so here are the new organizers i got off of amazon i'm going to quickly open these up so we can get organizing before all of my stuff thaws out so I did go ahead and order two different sets just because I wanted one set that came with lids just in case I didn't use them or if I wanted to swap them out and use them in the pantry for smaller snacks and then I could stack them on top of each other which I thought would just be really nice and convenient and I love having bins that are versatile because sometimes you don't need them and you can use them in another space and containers with lids are great for storage underneath your kitchen cabinets or even in the bathroom so love having options and I love my clear containers I was very happy with the quality of these they were such a great size too so I was able to fit a lot of of stuff inside of each one of them. Doesn't matter how you got 
My biggest struggle was definitely trying to figure out what I should put together, what things made sense, but I finally figured it out and I love that now I can easily look into my freezer and see like, okay, what am I running low in? What do I need more of? Because you guys, I had no idea that I had so many frozen vegetables and broccoli in particular. I probably had about six bags of broccoli, so we are for sure going to be shopping our pantry for the next couple weeks, especially right now. We have our trip to Virginia coming up. You guys actually might be seeing this when I'm in Virginia, depending on when I upload it, but we have our trip coming up to Virginia and I really am trying to shop the pantry, not buy anything unnecessary because of course we don't want our food to go bad while we're out of town. We're going to be gone for about a week and a half. So it's just better to have a little less produce that way it doesn't go to waste. Here is the after. I'm so glad I went through everything because there was a lot of stuff I didn't realize I had in here, especially these vegetables, you guys. I have so many frozen vegetables, so I'm definitely gonna be planning a lot of meals around those frozen veggies, but everything has a container. I tried to put all of the meat in one. Majority of the bulk meat is in our big freezer, so we don't have too much of that. And then I have the fish and shrimp behind that. I have the kids popsicles, all our fruit, and then in here is our stuff to make smoothies. It's some more fruit and bananas. And then we have the kids hot pockets for lunch. And then I kind of put the extras over here. I have veggie burgers, just some random stuff, a few cheese sticks left and some extra hot pockets. So very happy with how that turned out. And I'm going to be trying out my new essential oil in the dryer, which is the sun-kissed linen. I put two to three drops on each ball, and I just like rubbing them into the balls to make sure it's not going to like set on any of the clothing and leave an oil stain. So that's what I do. I don't know if that's necessary or not, but better safe than sorry. Um, and I'm happy to say that it smells so good in the laundry. I'm really loving it. And the essential oils that I used in the house, I used the beach house and the ocean breeze and both of them smell so, so good. The beach house smells more like coconut. And I think that one is definitely going to be my favorite to have going during the summertime. It just smells so fresh and clean. I love the scent of coconut and almost has like a lime mix in there it's really nice so I'm really happy with these essential oils so far definitely still trying them out I put the allure in the diffuser um, the next day and that one made the house smell so strong really loving that one too but now we are outside in my big deep freezer. As you can see, we have tons of wild game in here. My husband does like to hunt, so we are definitely stocked up when it comes to venison and all of that. So we have tons of meat in here, but I've really been wanting to organize it because it's just thrown in here. And I felt like a lot of space was being wasted. So I was really happy to get these containers in here, organize it. I tried to put similar meat together so I try putting all the sausage together and then on the side door I'm putting our breakfast sausage and then we also have regular ground sausage and ground beef so I try to put all of those together and just make everything more organized and make sense and then that way I can put more bulk items in here because I felt like every time I tried to put like a boxed item like my pizzas or anything like that, when I would open the door, like the meat would just fall out. So <laughs> this was definitely much needed. It's 
about time for me to get started on dinner, so I thought I would share tonight's recipe with y'all because it is a go-to soup for my family. I personally love it. I can eat it like any time of the day. It's super easy and quick to throw together. So let me show you guys how to make my hamburger veggie soup. What I love about this recipe is it's super versatile. You can literally add in any vegetables that your family likes. So on this night, we wanted to use up some potatoes because I have a lot of potatoes in the pantry. And like I told you guys, the frozen veggies in the freezer was out of control. And this is the perfect recipe to help use some of those up. So I'm just going to be chopping up an onion and and sauteing that with the ground beef. I feel like it gives it a really good taste. I do have a little bit of olive oil in there. And then after that is fully cooked, we're gonna be adding in the veggies that aren't frozen and that are a little bit thicker. So I'm using carrots and potatoes and those typically take longer to soften up. So I love adding in any veggies that are thick like that first. And we're gonna be adding in about four to six cups of broth. I'm using beef broth and then two cans of diced tomatoes and as for seasonings you're only going to need a few you add salt pepper garlic powder or you can do fresh garlic while you're sauteing your meat and onions and then the number one most important seasoning that you're going to add the most of is the italian seasoning and then my favorite that goes in here that I feel like makes this soup taste so good is the Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> so you add in as much as you like. I always taste test like as it's cooking. I just check on the flavors, add more as I see fit. And once this comes to a boil, that's when I'm going to go ahead and add in any frozen veggies. And then I'm just going to let this simmer for at least 30 minutes until everything is fully cooked and it is done. I'll be sure to put the ingredients to the soup down in my description for you guys. Let me know if you try it out. But I'm gonna go ahead and close out the video right here. I hope y'all enjoyed it and got some motivation to tackle something around your house today. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. If you're new, I would love for you to subscribe. I upload cleaning motivation weekly and I would love to have you here. But I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another motivating cleaning video. So today we are unpacking from Vegas. I just got back, hence why I'm looking crazy. We had an amazing time. I did vlog it, so if y'all wanna see it, I'll put it in the cards. But such a good time, but now it's time to get back to reality. I need to unpack get some laundry going and get this house back in order. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into all of this cleaning motivation. Vegas was seriously so much fun, but now that all the fun is over, it's time to get back to reality, which means catching up on all the laundry that we brought from Vegas. So I wanted to unpack, get the laundry started. I had a few gift cups that I gave the kids. We actually bought these like frozen daiquiris and they were delicious, but they were $45 a piece. And I was like, you better believe I'm saving those cups because we did not think they were gonna be that expensive. They were the most expensive drink that we got the entire time we were there, but that's okay. At least we got to bring home a cute little souvenir cup for the kids. But in today's video, I'm also gonna be doing a deep clean of my bedroom. I just had so much clutter just in the most random spots in my room and I have been avoiding it. So it was time for me to get the clutter out of the room. I needed to go through stuff, pick it up. So we're also gonna be doing a deep clean in my bedroom and then heading out into the living room and cleaning over there because it was a mess. The first day back, I didn't do anything. I just wanted to relax, obviously. So this is the second day back and now I'm ready to just tackle it all. As I was doing the laundry, I knew I had some stains that I needed to tackle. This is my self tanner. I wanted to make sure I was tan in Vegas. So yeah, all my white shirts had stains on them. So I'm just using the Better Life stain remover, which I wanted to update you guys on what I think about it. And it works great. So far, it's taken out every single stain that I have used it on. And just like you saw, I used it on white and self tanner and it took it right out. So 
I definitely recommend this cleaner for your laundry if you're looking for a more all natural one that doesn't have harsh chemicals this one is working great and the scent is like a eucalyptus scent so I'm really enjoying the scent of this one as well And as y'all can see, I'm getting pretty low on my laundry beads and pretty low on my laundry pods. I actually have like two more packs underneath my dryer, so I still need to use those up. But I think what I'm going to be doing is before I switch over to my Molly Suds, because you guys know I'm switching to more all natural products. And I do have Molly Suds ready to go for whenever I run out. But in the meantime, I'm going to use up my Gain. And then for my laundry beads, when those run out, I'm gonna start using vinegar in my laundry because I used to do that a while ago and I don't know why I ever stopped. It probably was just because I love my laundry to smell very strong and fragrant, but I'm gonna be switching to just plain old white vinegar. I get it in bulk from Sam's Club, so it's super affordable and it really does do a great job at getting any like sour smells out of the laundry and leaving your clothes feeling really soft. So vinegar is definitely great as a softener. I got all the dirty laundry unpacked and the laundry going. Now it's time to put away just the few odds and ends and the clothes that we didn't end up wearing. So I'm picking up my husband's hats. <laughs> yes, he has an obnoxious amount of hats. I keep telling him he needs to go through them because even though he has probably gotten rid of like, I'd say 50% of the amount that he used to have, he still needs to downsize because I've bought those little hangers and they're completely full and we also have a hat collection on top of our safe. So he still has way too many, but if you guys are looking for a great way to store a bunch of hats, those hangers are really nice. They work great. My husband likes them because it keeps the hats, you know, from getting messed up and bent up. The only downside for those for me is that it does take up a bit of space. Our closet is already super like jam packed. So it does take up a good amount of space on our little rod. But other than that, it works great for storing hats. I think pretty soon I'm going to be doing some more decluttering around the house. I've just kind of been having the itch to get it done. Of course, I'm decluttering in my room today, but I don't know. I just think the kitchen really needs to be tackled again. I want to reorganize it. And now that it's the beginning of summer, it's time to go through the kids clothes and just see, you know, what no longer fits them or is stained, what we want to donate. So I think we're going to be doing some decluttering here in the near future. I actually took the kids to the mall just a couple days ago and we did some serious summer shopping for clothes because my boys especially really needed some clothes. Adrian needed shorts. So we got tons of stuff. I'm debating on doing like a clothing haul for the kids on my vlogging channel I haven't decided yet but we went to Old Navy and they had some awesome deals going on so if you guys are looking for some new summer clothes for the kids definitely check out Old Navy I was really impressed with their pricing and the quality and just their outfits were super cute so definitely check them out but since we got all those clothes it's definitely time to declutter and all of our closets to make room for them. So for those of you who've been following me for a while, I did tell you that I was gonna share what we did in Vegas. In case y'all don't watch my vlogging channel, we did do some really fun stuff and I felt like we squeezed in a lot in the three days, three or four days that we were there, but 
We went to the high roller, which is that really tall Ferris wheel where it's like a private room and you can get free drinks for the 30 minutes you're up there. I think there's like, you have to pay extra for that, but it's unlimited drinks for 30 minutes. And it was so cool. We did it at nighttime so we could see all the lights over the city. It was gorgeous. Definitely recommend as like just for one, at least one time to say you did it and just to see it because honestly I felt like the tickets were overpriced but for the experience I do think it was worth it but I probably wouldn't do it you know more than once or twice just because it is a bit pricey but it was so pretty we also went down to Fremont which probably was my favorite they had like people on the streets dancing they had live shows there was music playing and of course because we went at nighttime they had the ceiling all lit up it was just really awesome I definitely want to go back to Fremont. I thought it was just more lively and interactive. So if you guys are going to Vegas or thinking about going to Vegas, make sure you carve out some time to check out Fremont, which is like, I guess old Vegas is what they call it, but I loved it. So we went to Fremont. We also saw Garth Brooks, which that concert was phenomenal. You guys, Garth Brooks looks like he's getting younger. Like I couldn't believe how young he looked and yeah he was amazing so good I loved that show it was so much fun and then we also rented a cabana the day before we were leaving so it ended up being on Saturday we rented a cabana by the pool at the resort we were staying at we stayed at the Aria which was a really beautiful hotel and the cabana was perfect because by that day we were so exhausted our feet hurt so bad from all the walking we did I did wear my Apple watch the whole time and we walked over eight miles every day so we definitely got our steps in for our trip but our feet were killing us so spending the day by the pool was perfect so we did that all Saturday and then Saturday night we went to Ka which is a, a show at Cirque du Soleil and it was so good that was a really awesome show the one thing I really wish we would have been able to squeeze in was a magic show I wanted to see a magic show so bad but definitely gonna hopefully make another trip back there sometime in the near future and hopefully see a magic show and also I want a zip line we didn't get to do that on Fremont because the wait was super long but that's definitely something else that looked really fun but yeah overall our Vegas trip was amazing we didn't win big or anything but I was really excited I won two different times on the slot machines on the Buffalo machine on Fremont I won I think it was four hundred and six dollars and then the the last day we were just about to go catch our airplane I played I think it was called tornado or I don't know I can't remember what it was called but on that machine I won six hundred and sixty dollars and I was so ecstatic I only put in a hundred dollars so it was really awesome we had a good time I won just a little bit of money but we definitely weren't up by the time we left but it was a lot of fun so I'm glad that we got to go and I hope y'all check out my vlog because it was so much fun but as you guys can see I'm now putting up some pictures I had picture frames sitting on my dresser I kid you not probably for like six months or so we ordered those for my husband he wanted to put pictures on his desk at his work and it just came in a big bundle off of Amazon and we were like oh it's fine we'll use them at home and then they just sat on my dresser I even ordered tons of pictures which were also on my dresser I just never you know put them into the frames so I did that today I put the pictures in the frames put them up around the house I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them where I put them at but for now I was like I'm just gonna put them over here until I figure out for sure where I'm gonna put them at but I'm clearing away my dresser I had so much clutter I'm also gonna go through that little wicker basket that's my catch-all area in my bedroom I just throw all my random stuff in there like chapstick gloves I mean the most random things it's in there so we're gonna go ahead and go through that declutter my dresser and then give it a really good wipe down make sure we get all the dust off of it he looked at her and then he smiled picked up a pen and paper and started writing probably something about her eyes and how
how they're always shining Or something cliche like ooh So my plan for this summer is to try to put out two videos every other week that's kind of my goal just because I feel like I haven't been putting out as many videos as I used to and I just miss uploading more cleaning content so I'm gonna be putting out some more stuff so make sure you guys are subscribed and in case this is your first time watching one of my videos welcome thank you so much for being here I am a stay-at-home mom to four kids I have two girls and two boys and their ages are 12 10 7 and 3 so as you can imagine my house is always a mess so I always have tons of cleaning decluttering organizing laundry all the kinds of cleaning motivation and I love sharing it here on YouTube so I really hope you consider subscribing and sticking around I do upload always at least one video a week but like I said during the summertime since I'm not doing all the school drop-offs and the running back and forth I really am gonna try to put out a bit more content so make sure you have your bell on so you are alerted first every time I upload they're in love now, and I wanted you to know. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby, baby, good at thinking out loud. As you guys know, I've been using more all natural products for a while now, and the Jaws has definitely been one of my go to ones. And I must say, for switching to like all natural cleaners, I haven't noticed any difference in the cleaning quality really for any product that I've tried so far. Like, the only difference between having more all natural cleaners versus the cleaners that have like you know the harsher chemicals in them is really the scent that's honestly the only difference that I have noticed between them so if you guys have been hesitant on switching just know that the quality of cleaning is not going to change I can promise you that it's just going to be the scent that's left behind and what I've been doing to kind of make my house smell really fresh and clean still is I've just been using my diffusers a lot more. I actually put one in my little office area and I've been using that almost daily. I've been doing either lemon or orange and I also have this like mix blend. I can't, I think it's called like fall harvest or something. I've been using that one too and it just helps the house smell fresh and clean all day long. So that's just what I've been doing to make sure my house still smells good, but also keeping it free from all of those extra harsh chemicals. The last thing that my bedroom needed was a good wipe down. As you can see, the doors and the walls near the door were filthy. This is a very high traffic area. The kids are always running in here and touching the walls. So we're gonna be using my Jaws All Purpose Spray to wipe down the baseboards and the door. And then I'm gonna be using my Healthier Home Wall Spray as well as the Wall Scrubber. Love that stuff. And I have the new scent in, as you can see, and. I love this scent so much. It is so much better than the other one that I had. I will put the scents down in the description um, because I can't remember off the top of my head what they are. But the previous scent I had smelled like old man cologne. I mean, no offense, if y'all like that scent, you do you. But I was not a fan of that smell. It was just, it was, it was not for me. But this new one, it's like holiday scent or something. It smells so good. I love it and it works just as well as the other one. It's the same brand. So just wanted to let you guys know that scent is so much better. <laughs> Definitely check that one out. But we're going to be scrubbing down the walls and getting all of the nasty fingerprints off of here. Like you guys have heard a million times, I have flat paint. So in case you guys have flat paint too, you can still use this wall cleaner. Just don't spray it directly onto your wall. If you spray it directly onto your wall, it will leave like a mark of 
wetness basically so you want to spray your brush and you can spray it like a really good amount I usually get mine pretty wet and then I scrub the wall and it will take off any like fingerprints dirt marks the only thing I can't seem to scrub off is like rubber marks where they're just a bit more scuffed on there because if I try to scrub that hard it will take off my flat paint but everything else it takes it off so definitely recommend giving this wall spray a try now that my bedroom is deep cleaned and nice and organized again it's time to head into the kitchen as you can see I just had a lot of clutter all over the countertops and just a few dishes in the sink that needed to be hand washed so we're gonna go ahead and tackle all of that my best friend recently bought me this pink stanley cup that i just moved over to the coffee bar area and i absolutely love it because it's beautiful and i love the handle like it's honestly my only tumbler that i ever use now for my water but i wanted to know if you guys have used a stanley cup or another brand what do you think about your stanley cup because there was so much hype about it i guess in my mind i was thinking like it was going to be the best thing ever and then when i got mine i must say that i was a little disappointed because my ice melts quicker than it does in like a yeti so i was i don't know everyone was talking about how long their ice lasted but mine doesn't do that and i actually noticed the other day that i have what looks like a couple spots of rust at the very bottom of the inside of my cup so i'm just like what in the world i just got this cup i don't know a month ago if that and it already has a little bit of rust and it doesn't keep my water as cold and i'm wondering did i just get a dud or is everyone just not addressing <laughs> that the stanley cup isn't as amazing as everyone made it out to be i don't know let me know down in the comments if y'all have a stanley cup and what you think about it or if you have the yeti one with the handle also let me know because i've been thinking about ordering a yeti one because i really love the handle i just think it's so much more convenient to carry it around and all of that but i just love the colors of the stanley cups like that's what sells me on them is just the colors so i really wish yeti would step up their colors and come out with some really cute ones because i would probably for sure just use a yeti girl i think i'm losing my mind try to go to work but i lost track of time because everyone keep looking like you i can't take no more i miss your touch from your hands and your body it hurts so much to think of you as someone else can't get enough when you're sweet talking to me now i'm talking sweet all by myself here is another new cleaner i've been using it is called attitude it's an all-natural one and it is in a citrus scent and this one is definitely stronger than any other all-natural cleaner that i have tried and i really do enjoy this scent so if you guys want something that has a little bit stronger scent and you can actually smell it when you get when you get done cleaning you should check this one out i'm not sure if it's sold in any stores or not i ordered it off of amazon and i must say that the bottle is a bit bigger than the other bottles of cleaner that i have ordered so that's also a plus to this one Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. What you need from me, need your love on me, put your love on me. I'ma do everything for you. I don't want anyone but you. Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. Gonna be using this barkeeper's friend in the sink. It's my last little bit. I'm using it up. 
I think after this I'm just going to be switching to some good old baking soda and vinegar to deep clean the sink to keep it more all natural but this cleaner does smell really good it's like a lemon scent and it does great at cleaning your stainless steel By the time I was done cleaning up the kitchen, it was time to switch over the laundry and get some more going. I really wanted to start getting through all the clothes, that way I could start getting to the kids' clothes. The good thing is that while my best friend was here watching the kids for us when we were in Vegas, she was so amazing. She not only washed the sheets after you know she was done sleeping on them, but she also washed the kids' clothes while I was away. So I really didn't have too much laundry to get caught on from the house. So that made it a lot easier for me. I feel like me and her are the same when it comes to like our cleaning styles. So she kept up the house so good. I came home to a perfectly clean home. So it made coming home so nice and easy. I was just able to plop down and relax. If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what A good time looks like You can do better So much better going to go ahead and replace the towels in the spare bathroom. I'm always replacing these because Ethan, my three and a half year old, he thinks he's, you know, a big boy now. So he's always in there like washing his hands and trying to clean up. And let's just say those towels get super dirty fast, like drenched in water. So I'm constantly washing them and replacing them, but it's fine. I'm just so happy that Ethan like enjoys washing his hands and he tries to clean up after himself <laughs> but we are now heading back into the living room to tidy it up i just had dog toys everywhere stella my new little puppy she loves dog toys like yoda he's always played with them here and there but stella like full-on dives into the little bin with the toys and she'll start like pulling them all out and it is so sweet to watch it is the funniest and cutest thing ever so i'm always cleaning up the dog toys but it is the cutest i do not mind at all but we're just gonna tidy it up really quick do a quick vacuum make sure there's no dog hair or crumbs i like doing a little reset in the living room probably once a day just to like clear everything away and vacuum because this definitely is a hangout spot for all of us so there's often tons of stuff on the floors and everywhere so i just like to reset it get it nice and clean again and then i of course love to clean at nighttime to have just a fresh start for the next day and i feel like the living room is so easy to tidy up that it just yeah it's just so easy to tackle it and makes you feel really good when you sit down on the couch and you see a floor that's clear of clutter the last thing we're tackling in today's video is this load of laundry we're just gonna fold it I'm gonna get it put away and then we're gonna call it a day for cleaning 
but I really hope you guys enjoyed today's cleaning motivation. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. It tells YouTube that you like my content and it will help share it to others who might also enjoy it. So it really helps out my channel and I appreciate it. If you're new and you're not subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe. Join my YouTube family. I upload cleaning motivation weekly and I would love to have you here. But I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye. Hey friends, welcome back. I hope y'all are having a great start to your day or evening, whatever time you might be watching this. I hope y'all are ready for some serious cleaning and decluttering motivation. We have our garage sale coming up, so it was time for me to head to the storage unit and grab all of the bins out of there. So we're gonna be going through some of my storage bins and seeing what I can get rid of. I have a lot of decor that I wanted to just kind of, you know, get rid of. That way I can refresh things, get new things if I want to. I also have tons of cleaning that needs to get done because I have been in puppy heaven with our new little puppy. She's a Cavapoo, if you guys are new here. And we are just in love with her. And since she's only nine weeks old, almost 10 weeks, We've been spending tons of time just playing with her and trying to train her, potty train, all of that. So that definitely takes up a lot of our time. So I've been letting the house get a little uh, past due on cleaning. So we're gonna be catching up on that as well as decluttering. So I hope this video inspires y'all to tackle a mess around your house today. But as you can see, we're starting off in my bedroom. We're not gonna do a deep clean in here. I just wanted to make my bed and get the clothes put away because the laundry has been super backed up, you guys. I have been slacking, so we're gonna put the laundry away and just get my room looking a little bit more tidy before we head into the living room and start tackling all of my bins. That game, you guys, is seriously so fun. Adrian is hooked on it too, so we play it together. She <laughs> plays hers on her iPad, and I play mine on my phone, and oh, it's, it's so much fun. You definitely have to check it out. But now we're heading to the living room to start going through my bins. A lot of this stuff I have saved so I could rotate decor. Like I use the same pieces pretty frequently, but like I said, I think I'm ready to start buying some new stuff and just mix up my style a little bit. So of course we need to get rid of some things to make room for the new stuff. So we're gonna go through my old decor. Some of this is for fall. I had a few Christmas items that I wanted to part ways with. Uh, if you guys have been here for a while, you saw I actually went through all of my Christmas bins whenever I picked up my decor. So there really isn't too much left over from Christmas that I wanna get rid of, but there definitely was some fall and spring decor, which I do end up pulling some out to decorate the house with just because I kind of forgot that I had some of these pieces and I was like, you know what? Since we're pulling it out, I might as well decorate the house with it. So we're gonna be decorating a little in today's video as well. So I have all of this decor that I'm going to be selling in our garage sale. Just going to set this aside in the garage and then I'll be putting these bins back into the storage and then probably grabbing some more out to see if there's anything else I want to get rid of. And these are some really cute spring decor that I'm actually gonna go ahead and put out right now since it is springtime and these colors are really pretty.
guys typically decorate for springtime or do you skip this season for decorating? I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Typically, I don't decorate for spring. It's kind of something new that I started basically since I became a YouTuber because I just realized a lot of people decorated for spring and I had no idea. I never thought that was something you like changed your house decor for. So over the last couple years, I have picked up some items. So I throw in just a few pops of spring if I feel like it, but I'd love to hear down in the comments if you guys decorate for spring or not. But now we're heading to my dining room area. Ethan has a new kinetic sand. <laughs> If you guys heard in my last video, the Easter Bunny brought some kinetic sand for all the kiddos. And I know in the comments of my last video, you guys were like, what in the world? Why would you do that to yourself? But I guess I'm just a sucker for, I don't know, making myself have more messes to clean up. I mean, it's hard because you know the kids really enjoy it. But then on the other hand, you know you're the one who has to clean up the big mess. So... This will likely be the last time that they have kinetic sand because it's just, they're so messy with it. I mean, not the older two. So Austin and Adrian, they do really good at cleaning up the sand after they're done playing with it. But Ethan being three, I just don't think he's old enough to like maintain it into one spot. So yeah, we might be holding off on the kinetic sand until he's a bit older. But yeah, I know I'm crazy. I do this all the time. I'm like, I know I shouldn't, but they enjoy it. So I try to suck it up and then I kick myself in the butt every time. I'm like, what was I thinking? So I know you guys, I know I do it to myself, <laughs> but we're going to get that cleaned up and I'm wiping down my table with the method wood cleaner. You guys know I love this stuff. I think it smells so good. One of my subscribers mentioned that it reminds them of the Jergens almond lotion. I think it's like cherry blossom almond. And yes, that is exactly what it reminds me of. I actually have that exact same lotion and I love it. It smells so good. And definitely the method gives me that vibe. I love anything almond scent. I just feel like that is such a good, like sweet, but not over, like not overpowering, but ugh, it smells so good. So now that the table was cleaned up, I put out a new little centerpiece and then I ended up moving this plant right here. I was not sure what I wanted to do with it because the bottom of it is like a checkered green print and it doesn't really match with anything. So I end up going to Target and picking up a new pot. That way I can pot it into a blue container and it'll match our decor a bit better. So I do end up doing that at a later time, but I was kind of playing around with everything, figuring out exactly what I wanted to do and how I wanted it to look. I'm really trying to keep everything to a minimum and not like overcrowd a space because I feel like when you start putting too much in one area, it just makes it seem cluttered and dirty. And I don't know, I just recently, I'm just like, I want to just simplify my decor, my spaces. I just want less because the less things you have in an area, the less you have to clean. So that's my new motto and I'm really trying to get better at it. That's why I've been doing so much decluttering and all the decluttering series because I really am trying to get better and bring in less stuff into our home. I'm losing my mind Try to go to work But I lost track of time Cause everyone keep looking like you I can't So I started off with four bins And I'm down to two full bins one empty one and then as you guys see the other one that's near my bedroom door that one is going to be all for the garage sale so i got rid of half that's so good i'm really proud of myself and it was time to take little stella out for a potty break so i thought i would share just a couple little cute clips of her with you guys and of course when i went outside i was like you know what since i'm out here i might as well clean up the dog poop it's been really tough sticking on top of like cleaning all the little poop up 
I didn't realize that having little poops would be a lot more of a pain than having big poops because the kids will run outside and not even see it and then they step in it and then they're tracking it into the house. So I'm trying to stay on top of cleaning the dog poop up daily. It's definitely a new routine that I have to get into. And I went ahead and actually purchased a bucket so I can just scoop the poop into the bucket and then dump it into the trash can because it's so windy in West Texas. And you guys, every time I'm trying to like scoop it into the bag, the bag is like blowing around and I'm so scared I'm gonna get the poop on my hands. <laughs> so I bought a bucket for that. Um, just in case you guys were looking for some ideas, a bucket works great. <laughs> but now we're heading back inside. It's time to do a deep clean in the living room. I hadn't moved the couches in a couple weeks and I knew it was time to clean under them. So I went ahead and moved the couch up and sure enough, there was tons of crumbs and toys, all of the things. So we're gonna be cleaning up underneath here and getting some mopping done. I really try to just go ahead and mop anytime I move the couches because you know, it's like the hard part is done, the moving of the couch. So I might as well just roll up the rug and mop the floors while I'm at it. Before I move the rug, I always like to vacuum it. That way when I roll it up and move it, I don't have crumbs and everything falling out of it. So giving it a good vacuum. And in case you guys are wondering what Ethan is watching on TV, that is Blippi. So none of my other kids ever watched Blippi. I mean, I don't know when Blippi came out, but <laughs> it was never something that we watched in our house. And now Ethan is obsessed and I just think it's the funniest show. Like it just cracks me up watching this grown man <laughs> like i don't know it's so funny if you guys haven't seen blippy before put it on it's on netflix and i don't know i find it's it's pretty hilarious but it's not a bad show because it does teach them um you know different things like it is an educational show so i definitely don't mind him watching Now it's time to mop in here. I pulled out my O Cedar mop and you guys know, I got my pine saw in here, my absolute favorite floor cleaner. I love the way my house smells. When I mop with pine saw, it is my obsession, like literally my obsession. I love the smell of pine saw. Do you guys have a cleaner where you could just like open it and just smell it? <laughs> like, and it just makes you happy? That's pine saw. That's literally pine saw to me. I remember when I was a kid, I always, because my parents, they used to clean with pine saw and I would open it up and smell it and I always would say, when I'm a grown up, my house is going to smell nothing but pine saw. Like, it started from an, a young age and I am still just as obsessed with it as I was when I was a kid. As I'm mopping, Ethan is back there playing with his Play-Doh. It's so cute. He has been getting really creative with it and just making all kinds of different items using his Play-Doh. So I love that it is something that he can, you know, just use his imagination and make something and get him off of the iPad. So I think that's why like as much as it drives me crazy to clean up the kinetic sand and the hardened Play-Doh, I just keep buying it for them because it's something to do that gets them off of electronics.
gonna get everything back into place <laughs> it's so funny watching this video back because when I move the couches there's still stuff falling out from underneath like what that's why I try to make a point to like lift it as high as I possibly can whenever I move it because I did notice if I just push my couches there will be so many toys and crumbs still stuck underneath there so <laughs> I probably should like shake my couch when I move them because it's crazy the amount of stuff that still falls out of them like oh my goodness it's just so funny to me but the living room is looking beautiful now it is nice and deep cleaned I love the feeling of knowing that when you're sitting on your sofa there is no crumbs and no toys underneath of it it is a really good feeling but now we're heading into well, we're, we're about to go into the kitchen i just needed to vacuum in the dining room since i wiped down the table i needed to vacuum i did want to get to mopping the whole downstairs so i really wanted to vacuum as well so we're gonna vacuum in here and then we're heading into the kitchen which as you can see it was bad <laughs> it really needed some tlc typically make breakfast for the kids before they go to school and on this day I had made French toast so I had a lot of powdered sugar everywhere and quite the mess every time I make French toast for breakfast I always have a mess to clean up because the powdered sugar gets everywhere so we're gonna clear away the countertops pick up everything off of the floors and get this kitchen back in order. I'm not gonna be doing the dishes today because you guys know my kids do the dishes as part of their chores. And unless they're like really mounting over, I try to leave them that way they do their chores every single day. So today we're just gonna be making the kitchen look clean and tidy, but leaving the dishes. You guys know I'm big into fitness and eating healthy and all that stuff and recently I've really been trying to meal prep more because it makes my life so much easier having healthy foods prepared and ready to go and it it just really helps you stay on track so I'm making a point to prep foods now this day I prepped some meat and some rice so I'm gonna go ahead put this into the fridge save it for later but a huge tip if you guys are also trying to lose weight I definitely recommend taking a little extra time each week to meal prep a few items that you really love because it makes all of the difference I am so bad about waiting until I'm at the point where I'm so hungry I just can't like I can't stand it anymore and then I reach in the pantry and grab one of the kids snacks and then it's kind of like a snowball effect I feel like you start eating one thing and then you're like oh you know screw it I'm just gonna keep eating all the junky snacks so I'm trying to prevent that from happening and meal prepping is huge with helping with that so just a little tip for you guys if y'all are also trying to keep yourself accountable and on track it really does help out a lot I 
I went ahead and recorded this week's grocery haul from HEB. Since you guys seem to enjoy seeing them, I thought I would throw in another one. This is a pretty healthy grocery haul, but of course we still have the kids in the house, so there are some snacky foods, but I really do try to make a point to buy items that I'm not really like crazy about because then I don't go reaching for them. I'm gonna share with you guys what I picked up from HEB for the week. I planned out some healthy meals, getting back on track after Easter. So I picked up a thing of red potatoes for sides or to go in recipes. I needed some more fluoride free toothpaste for Ethan, and then we needed some new toothpaste. And I've never tried this knockout Max Fresh, so I thought I'd give this a try. Got some Texas toast for the kids to go with their food. They also wanted some more of these cone ice creams. This is their favorite, so I got some of the chocolate ones and then the vanilla. We are gonna be needing some chili sauce for a recipe, so I got regular and then also sweet chili sauce to try out. The kids ran out of their Nutella. This is like the healthier version. This is the good good. So I picked up some more of the taco hazelnut spread. I got two things of my half and half creamer for my coffee because I keep running out. I picked up a thing of kefir. Adrian likes to drink this to help with her acid reflux and Aubrey has been taking antibiotics. So I try to pump them with probiotics and prebiotics whenever they take antibiotics. So I got some of that. Got some frozen spinach for smoothies. I also picked up a spaghetti squash for a healthy recipe this week. I got some chicken nuggets for the kids. We haven't tried the HEB brand, so I thought we'd give these a try for the kids for a quick and easy dinner. I picked up some tomatoes to go in my husband's salad. He loves these little cherry tomatoes. I like tomatoes, but usually when they're cooked, so I don't put those in my salad. I also got a butternut squash. I love putting this in the air fryer, cutting it up and just seasoning it. It's really good and it's like a lower carb, but really good. I ordered a watermelon. I don't know why they gave me the like personal size one. I definitely ordered a big one. So I'm going to have to see if they're going to refund me for that because it was like almost $7. So I need to get a refund. Um, and then I picked up some mini cucumbers so we can chop these up and have them just as a snack or on the side. Picked up some of these little pomegranate pouch things. Um, I wanted the whole pomegranate, but they didn't have any. So I got two of these. This is also something really good for your gut health. If you've taken antibiotics, this will replenish a lot of that bacteria. So I got two of those. Two bunches of bananas that way I can freeze some. I picked up some of these um, grass-fed beef top sirloin fillets. They're a lot smaller than I thought they were, but I got some steaks for the week. I also got some classic coleslaw to go on the side and also some broccoli slaw. I got two things of my favorite Greek yogurt. This is the toasted coconut vanilla. Love this stuff. Also, another one of the staples in the house, these blueberry bagels. I love Dave's Killer Bread, so good. I also got a crown of broccoli, that way we can chop it up and dip it in ranch. I got three things of blackberries just to snack on or to top our yogurt with. I picked up some Fruity Pebbles for the kids. This is like the bigger box, so I got one thing of cereal for easy breakfast. I got two things of the pasture raised chicken. That way we can cook that up this week. A big thing of baby Bella mushrooms. These are my favorite. I wanna saute them with some onions for like our steaks to go on top of it. I thought that sounded really good. I also picked up some tempeh. This is really good for you and it's fermented so it's good for your gut health. I got two things of the turkey hot dogs for the kiddos. They prefer turkey hot dogs. And then I got some sliced cheese because we're just about to run out. I got a 30 count of brown eggs and then three loaves of bread. I'm gonna be freezing those. So that is everything that I picked up from HEB. I spent a total of $200. It is a new day and now we're tackling my bathroom. <laughs> no surprise here, this is typically what my bathroom looks like. 
I try so hard to stay on top of it, but y'all, this is the one space where I'm usually rushing. Like I'm rushing to get ready. I'm rushing to get like, you know, things moving. And so I just throw my clothes on the floor on top of the bathroom countertop but that's okay, we're gonna tackle it now. So we're gonna go ahead and get everything cleaned up so I can wipe down the countertops. I've really been wanting to find some sort of organizer to go on top of the countertop in here just to help us you know, stay organized a little bit more and for it to look a little bit better because we have a lot of things that we use every single day. And I don't know about you guys, but I really don't like putting them underneath the sink or tucked away if I use them daily. I just find it's more of a hassle and I have a tendency of leaving it on the countertop because I use it so frequently. Let me know if you guys are the same way, but I've really been trying to find something that looks good, but is also functional for organizing. So if you guys have any ideas, definitely let me know down in the comments. I was thinking of maybe like a corner organizer that could go like in the center of our countertop. I just haven't found one that I really loved and that could hold like taller items because you know, some of the stuff are like my hair cream, my face cream, my husband's deodorant. So I don't know. I'm just trying to find something that would look good in the corner. I thought it was such a cute idea to like draw something on the mirror before you wipe it down. I saw this in my friend Marie's um, video, Marie Love Asbury. She drew like a little heart and I was like, that is such a cute idea. So I thought a smiley face would be suiting because this mirror is, you know, pretty big. But I love the sprayway stuff. Not only is the foaming, like I love foaming cleaners. I feel like they're just... I don't know, there's just something satisfying about having like a foaming cleaner. And this one smells really good. They also make an all-purpose spray that I love. I use that for the kids' bathroom upstairs. Sprayway has some good products. I've heard they have some other cleaners, but I haven't tried them out quite yet. Definitely love the way the glass cleaner smells though. Everybody's been saying that you're up to no good Everyone has been telling me that you got me hooked You're playing a big time and of course, I had to close out the video with some laundry motivation because y'all know I am so backed up. I've really been thinking about doing a laundry video in the very near future because for one, I'm super backed up. And for two, I feel like I haven't made a dedicated laundry video in a while. So be on the lookout for that. I think that's gonna be coming very soon to help me get all caught up and just get it out of the way. I feel like whenever I film something, it just gives me that extra push to get it done. So <laughs> I definitely need to do that. But we are coming to the end of all of this cleaning and decluttering motivation. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. It helps out my channel and I truly appreciate it. And don't forget to head down to my description and check out June's journey. 
If you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, I would love for you to subscribe. Join my YouTube family. I do upload cleaning motivation every single week and I would love to have you here. But I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my whole house clean with me. I'm about to show y'all what the house looks like. It is a disaster. Last night I did not get around to cleaning up the mess. So today it is really bad. So we're gonna be tackling my entire house and it is gonna be a really good one. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into all of this cleaning motivation. I hope y'all are having a great start to your day or evening, whatever time you might be watching this video. You guys, this is going to be a real messy house video. I'm putting it all out there. You guys are seeing like my house at its worst. I was not able to tackle any of the mess the night before. I just left it. Things have been busy. So yeah, this is the aftermath and it really needed some TLC. So we're gonna be tackling the whole house in today's video, all the main living areas that really needed some attention. And we're gonna keep it positive over here. You guys know I keep it real and honest. I'm not gonna sugarcoat things. This isn't your Pinterest worthy mom. This is just a realistic mom that's just trying to maintain the chaos and with four little ones running around, this house gets dirty so quick. Like it doesn't matter how many times I clean up after them and clean all day long, it's still messy, but that's just life for you. We cannot have a perfectly clean home 24 seven when you have little kids and we just have to embrace this season of life. So if you're in this season of life too, just know you're not alone. If you feel like your house is always messy, I am right there with you. I don't want y'all thinking that my house is always clean because at the end of my videos, they look so clean and spotless. I can assure you it is destroyed within 30 minutes to an hour if I'm lucky it never stays clean. So I just hope you guys know that it's not realistic to, th to think that your house is gonna stay perfectly clean for long when you have little ones. But with that being said, we're starting off in the main living area. I wanted to tackle the living room first. The living room wasn't too bad. I did have those magnetic tiles all over the floor, but those are so easy to clean up. I love having that basket to store them in because it makes the cleanup so quick and easy. Throw them into the basket and then I stick them in our craft closet. So I got those cleaned up and then just wanted to kind of wipe down everything in here. Do a little dusting, just do the bare minimum before we head into the dining room and the kitchen, which was the main areas that had a lot of mess going on. I 
thought I would take a moment to introduce myself to you guys in case you're new and you came over from Michelle's channel. First off, I want to say thank you so much for being here and watching. You guys have no idea how appreciative I am of you guys. YouTube is seriously a dream come true for me. I've been a long time watcher and it's still so surreal to say out loud that I'm a YouTuber. So I just want you to know I am truly grateful for each and every one of you. And if you are new here, a little bit about me. I am a stay at home mom to four kids. I have two girls and two boys and their ages are from three all the way up to 12. So like the title of this video on my channel, you get a lot of real life messes messy house clean with me's i love decluttering and organizing i feel like i'm constantly decluttering because we accumulate so many things with having six people in the home things add up quick so if you guys enjoy cleaning motivation decluttering organizing laundry motivation then i hope you decide to hit that subscribe button and stick around i do upload cleaning videos every single week and sometimes throw in bonus videos so I'd love for you to subscribe and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss any future videos. I got this boy on my mind that I can't live without all his eyes I can be. And he keeps talking about everything that he likes and I can't stop listening. I'm thinking about him all the time. I'm thinking about him all the time. I'm thinking about him all the time, all the time. And my heart's been fast when it's looking like that. I am now over in the little dining room nook area and as y'all can see my floors were filthy in case you guys don't know what that blue stuff is all over the floor that is called kinetic sand and it's similar to like play-doh it'd be like play-doh mixed with sand it's a really cool texture and the kids love this stuff but it makes such a mess you guys and oftentimes I do like try to pick it up and save it but we've had this particular kinetic sand for quite some time and it was pretty nasty I mean it had a lot of different things stuck inside of it so I was like you know what it's just time to vacuum it up call it quits on this kinetic sand I did end up ordering him some more I did have some cucumbers stuck to the floor so I went in with some all-purpose spray and let it soak for a little bit and then scraped it up I ended up having to grab a dirty spoon off the counter and scrape up the rest because it was really stuck to the ground but it finally came up and I was able to get the cucumber off of the floor guys been following me for a while you know I love my bins I have a bin for like everything <laughs> and this is the bin that holds all of our play-doh but as you can see the play-doh was hard as a rock and sitting at the bottom of the bin so I went ahead and took out all the toys dumped out the hardened play-doh and went ahead and cleaned it before putting back all of the little pieces I need to pick up some more play-doh this is like a constant thing in our house with the kinetic sand and the play-doh we're always having to replace it but the kids love it so much so of course i'm going to keep buying it <laughs> I'm going in with my method wood cleaner to wipe down the table. I love this stuff. It smells so good. As I was cleaning, Ethan was like, mm, it smells good. Some people say that it smells like Dr. Pepper to them. I mean, I can kind of see that, but it's just a really good almond scent and it just leaves the best scent behind. Then wants to show you my intention. My brain gets blocked at times, but now. 
now that the dining room nook is all tidied up, it's time to get into this kitchen. It is such a mess. I have things left on the countertop still from my Sam's haul. I picked up some groceries this morning after I dropped the kids off at school. I swung by Sam's, grabbed the groceries. I'm actually gonna be sharing that grocery haul with you guys here in just a little bit because y'all seem to enjoy those. Let me know if you like seeing grocery hauls in my videos every now and then um, because I can definitely start including them more often, but yeah, definitely wanted to get everything picked up and put away. The countertops were covered in powder sugar because I actually made the kids French toast for breakfast. So every time we do French toast, there's powder sugar in every little crevice. So we're gonna be sure to wipe down everything well, get the sugar up off of the counters. The last thing I want is ants. We had an ant problem the first year we moved into this house. We've been in the house now for almost two years, but I've been trying really hard to stay on top of the messes, especially food crumbs, because y'all, ants are so hard to get rid of. So I do not want them to come back. The commitment of a romance, but somehow I need you close. I'll go wherever you go. I have some really exciting news I cannot wait to share with you guys. I'm going to be sharing it very soon, most likely in my next video, but it is something that I have been talking about for quite some time. And I feel like I have finally manifested it and I am, I'm just so excited. So be on the lookout for some exciting news in my next video. I cannot wait to tell y'all. Now that I have the countertops cleared off, I can go ahead and put away the dishes. I really don't like putting away dishes if I have a mess on the countertops. I don't know, I'm just weird like that. So first I had to clear all the mess away. And if y'all been here for a while, you know that my kids do the dishes. That's part of their chores. But since I had so many dishes in the sink this day, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead do the dishes for the kids. That way get them a little head start. And I just couldn't stare at the sink like this any longer. I really needed to do a deep clean in the sink because it has been starting to smell. I did purchase some of those plink tablets to put in the drains, which have definitely been helping, but I'm kind of wondering if we have something funky going on in our drain. So I, you know, obviously I clean the filter to the dishwasher and I've been cleaning the sink out, but for some reason we're getting like almost like a fishy old smell in the drain. Like whenever you run the disposal, you can really smell it and it, it smells awful, you guys. So I'm trying to stay on top of deep cleaning the sink using the tablets. I might actually pick up some Drano to try to pour it down the drain to see if that helps because not only is our kitchen sink the drain smelling like that, but also in our laundry room. If you guys saw, I believe it was my last video when I did a deep clean in the laundry room, when I cleaned the filter out of the washer, it stunk so bad. It smelled just like the kitchen drain and I was like, really wondering if we have something like going on deep in the drain system because it was so weird that it smelled exactly like the kitchen sink. I don't know. If you guys have any tips, let me know because it's really stinky and y'all know I love to have my house smelling good. So it's starting to drive me nuts that I can't get the stink out of the sink. <laughs> I 
have started getting a few questions about my pots and pans and in case y'all are wondering those are the caraway pots and pans i absolutely love them they're beautiful they work great the non-stick works really good um and if you guys are looking for like a dupe something very similar check out sam's club they came out with a few different sets that are really pretty colors and they look the same and i've heard really good things about them so just in case y'all are looking for some pots and pans like that caraway is amazing but also sam's club has some good ones for a little bit cheaper someone hurt your feelings not that long ago and every bit of you couldn't face the truth that maybe you're just not So as y'all can see, I'm using the barkeeper's friend to clean out my sink. Not only does this stuff leave it super shiny and clean, it gets out any rust that might be left behind from like, you know, if you leave some old pots and pans in there for too long, it'll get the rust out of your sink and it smells really good. I find that this helps the stink in my sink. <laughs> it helps the smell stay away for a bit longer. So I've been using a lot of this stuff to help the stink stay away. I definitely need to pick up some more, but I recommend it, especially for stainless steel. With his humble act and everlasting ego. Ethan, my three-year-old, was getting really excited about cleaning this day. He wanted to help me with everything. It was so adorable, but he kept asking me, Mom, are we gonna go clean my room now? Mom, are we gonna go clean my room? Like, he was so ready for me to go upstairs and clean his room. I was planning on mopping downstairs before I went upstairs, but he was just so excited. I was like, how can I deny him of helping me clean his room? <laughs> like, he's so cute. So after I finish up the kitchen, I think I do a quick vacuum in my office slash workout room. And then we're going to be heading upstairs to tackle the mess up there. Y'all, when I say my house was a mess, like every single area in my house was destroyed. It was feeling super overwhelming. But honestly, whenever I get into these moods where I'm like, okay, we're going to clean everything. Like once I get started, it just feels like a weight is lifting off of my shoulders. Like, I don't know. Once you start tackling one area and you're like checking it off of your to-do list, you just start feeling so much better. If you guys are like me, I get really overwhelmed whenever I see a big mess and lots of clutter. So it helps me so much mentally cleaning. Like it is my jam. It's what I do to de-stress, to make me feel better. Let me know if you guys are the same way, but I really love cleaning. I find it very therapeutic. top was looking pretty nasty so we're gonna go ahead wipe off the grates I don't typically like deep clean my grates often but I do like to wipe them down like the surface of them knock any crumbs off and then that way I can just you know clean up all the crumbs underneath and if you guys notice I recently bought a griddle to go on top of the stove I love this thing. I got it from Sam's Club and it has been such a game changer for me for making the kids breakfast before school. I'm usually rushing around and trying to make them something like pancakes, 
French toast, like my kids love those for breakfast and it takes me so long when I have either just one pan going or I have to do two pans and I'm just dirtying more dishes. But now with the griddle, I can just put it on top of the stove top. I can either use the big burner in the middle or I use my two side ones and I can cook a bunch of food all at one time. I love this thing. I used to have the griddle where you put it on the countertop and you plug it in, but whenever I had that griddle, I found that I never wanted to clean it. It was kind of a hassle to put it in the sink, make sure you didn't get the little plug area all wet. It was, it was just a lot. So I was really excited to find this one that you can just put on top of the stove top. So I really love it. If I remember, I will link it for you guys, but I got it from Sam's Club. Definitely recommend, especially if you have a larger family and you want to cook a lot more at once. This is amazing. I'll stick like glue inside your mind. Just watch me break in. So I thought I would share another grocery haul with you guys in today's video. So this is what I picked up from Sam's Club today. Ethan already got into the chips, <laughs> but I went ahead and picked up some bread. I always love to be stocked up on bread. I freeze it and then pull it out as needed. I also am running super low on my Epsom salt. I love adding this into my bathtub, especially when I'm sore from workouts and whatnot. It just really helps me relax and get a good night's sleep. This is the chip combo I picked up this time. I got the Doritos and the Cheetos. All of my kids love all of these flavors, so none go to waste. This week I wanna do some ham and cheese sliders. My kids love those and we haven't made them in a while. So I picked up some uncurred honey ham. I also got some blackberries, my favorite fruit ever. I'm actually growing blackberries outside of my little garden, fingers crossed that they actually grow some fruit on them. And then I got some more cheese sticks. That is a staple in our house. I picked up some more yogurts. Adrian was begging for more. We ran out like a week ago and she loves eating this when she gets home from school. So this is something new. We recently tried fish sticks for the first time, like the whole family and I was shocked that all the kids loved them like I thought for sure they wouldn't but it was a hit so I was like you know what I'm gonna get a big bag of them from Sam's Club this is a great simple meal that I can just throw together I can put it in the air fryer so got a big bag of those this was something Austin requested. He wanted some Nutty Buddy Bars. My husband loves these as well. We don't buy Debbie Snacks that often because y'all, you know I'm trying to lose weight right now and Debbie Snacks are definitely a weakness of mine, but I'm gonna try to stay strong and not eat a million of them at one sitting. Um, this is another new favorite in the house. We bought these the last Sam's Club haul. The kids loved them, so we picked up some more. Daddy. The duck. The Dunkaroos. Yeah, the Dunkaroos, buddy. Yeah. Also, I went ahead and got some cereal. I have been making the kids breakfast before school, and we haven't had cereal in a long time, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and start getting them some cereal every once in a while. So we got this combo. It's the minis of Reese Puffs, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and, tr and Trix. I also needed some more spaghetti sauce. I ran out, so I got this three pack of Prego. Also needed more diced tomatoes. We go through tons of diced tomatoes in this house. And we're gonna be using these Hawaiian rolls to make the sliders for dinner. These are, oh my gosh, so good. Also needed some more spaghetti noodles, so I picked some of those up. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know this is my new obsession. I love cashews, and these street taco ones are seriously so good. Everyone in the family eats them, so we go through them really quick, but I got another bag of those. I also went ahead and picked up some of the Sam's Club bagels. These are the raisin and cinnamon ones. I haven't tried their bagels before, so hopefully they're really good. And then I decided to pick up another like easier breakfast for the weekends for the kids and I got some Pop-Tarts. 
And then I also got a big bag of salt for our water softener and I spent a total of $200. I love organizing the kids' snacks in these bins. Even though they often don't stay organized for too long, it does make me feel good <laughs> getting them organized. And if you guys are looking for baskets similar to this, I just go to the dollar store or the Dollar Tree. They often have these for like $1 up to $5. They're usually pretty affordable and it just makes your pantry look so much more organized by putting the snacks in these little bins. Watch me pray. I'm just gonna do a quick tidy up in my office area. It really wasn't too bad in here. I just kind of had a mess on my desk and I needed to vacuum. I do try to make a point to vacuum the house downstairs every single day, especially because I do have a cat and a dog. That's my pug Yoda and I have a cat named Jinxie. He is nine years old now. He's getting up there, but because I do have animals, I love vacuuming every single day just to stay on top of it, especially because my husband gets allergies really bad. So I really think it helps by staying on top of all of the dust, especially the, the stuff that gets trapped in the carpet. Before we head upstairs, I'm gonna go ahead and get another load of laundry going. And as you can see, I actually had two loads that needed to be folded, but we're just gonna grab the one, <laughs> fold that one, and then we're gonna head upstairs. Ethan is definitely my laundry buddy. He gets so excited to put the pods and the beads inside of there. And every single time he has to smell it, like he gets so excited, like he hasn't smelled it before every single time. <laughs> He's like, mom, smell it. It is so sweet. But if you, if you guys are wondering what I use in my laundry, I'm currently using the Gain pods. And I wanna say this scent is something blissful, meadow, something like that. And then for my beads, I'm using the Downy Ocean Mist. They are the Downy Light Beads. They are absolutely my favorite. I've been using these for over a year now and I just love them. I feel like they leave a really strong scent behind and they don't have as much of the chemicals and um, colors in it and stuff. So, you know, it's a little bit better, but obviously I'm not going completely chemical free because I'm still using the gain, but y'all, I love my laundry to smell good. That is like the one thing that I don't know. I just love it. Like to me, my clothes don't seem clean unless when I pull them out, they smell like laundry detergent. And I don't know. I just love my laundry to smell strong. I'm now going to grab the boys' clothes and take it up to their bedroom and start tackling the mess. Ethan was so excited about it. He was ready to have his room clean. It's honestly like the sweetest thing. After I get done cleaning my kids' bedrooms, it doesn't matter which child, all of my kids 
when they come home and their room is clean, they are so grateful. They're just like, thank you so much, mom. I love it. I'm going to try to keep it this clean. Like it is so sweet. It melts my heart every single time. So it makes it worth you know, the time and effort we take out of our day to clean their room because they're just so grateful. Of course, my kids clean their own room, like that's part of their chores. But of course, I do come in here, give it a mother's touch, do some deep cleaning every once in a while. And of course, being a YouTuber and a cleaning YouTuber, <laughs> It wouldn't be, you know, a full cleaning channel if I didn't clean all of the spaces at least every once in a while. So I do love that they are so thankful every time I clean their room. It's just, it's so sweet. starting to notice a bit more dust so I think it's about that time to change out my air filters and here's your friendly reminder in case it's been a while since you've changed yours out don't forget about them suckers especially with springtime here I feel like there's just so much more like dust pollen just all of the things in the air right now so it's a great time to change your air filters I'm putting that on my HEB pickup list for the next uh, curbside pickup but now I'm just going to sprinkle down some carpet freshener. If you guys don't know, I like to make my homemade carpet freshener, which is just baking soda and essential oil. Of course, you can do any essential oil that you like. Definitely have to be careful with pets. I know there's like a few scents that aren't good for cats, especially. I feel like cats are a little bit more sensitive to that. So make sure you look into the essential oils that you're using, but I'm using clove and cinnamon inside of mine and it leaves the best scent. It smells like fall. Now we're heading into my kids' shared bathroom and yes, you guys, <laughs> it's disgusting. There is stuff everywhere. These kids make such a mess so quick. I honestly had them clean this up just a few days prior because we had company come over and I made the kids clean this bathroom. And just in a matter of a couple days, I mean, it's overflowing with clothes and toothpaste and all of the things. So I'm gonna get in here and do a deep clean, make sure we get all the toothpaste up and clear away the floors so we can actually walk in here again. Wanna put you in that spotlight Looking at you all night, all night I'll sing until my lungs give out your beautiful For the countertops up here, I'm using my Sprayway all-purpose cleaner 
love this stuff. It leaves a really good scent behind. Big fan of their products. I feel like they're glass cleaner. They're all purpose spray. They work really well and I love the way they smell because I'm all about scents. So we're going to be using that to get the toothpaste off of the countertops. What's it like? My phone was actually going off like crazy this day because we're planning a trip to go to Vegas really soon. I'm so excited about it. I'm actually going to be meeting a couple YouTubers up there while I'm there too. But we're going as a group with my husband's co-workers. We planned a fun trip and I'm so excited about it. But they were like texting me. We're trying to figure out like what days we're going, where we're going to be staying at, what we're going to be doing. So my phone kept going off that's why i kept like looking at my watch but i'm so excited to be going to vegas if you guys have been there and there's like a spot you recommend or a restaurant definitely let me know leave it in the comments because this is going to be the second time that we went but the first time was right after covid was just like when the restrictions were starting to come you know up they were loosening things up we were able to go there but there wasn't any shows going on we didn't get like the full experience of vegas so this time me and my husband we are like so excited we want to do all of the things like the number one thing is i want to go see a cool show because i was really bummed we didn't get to go to any shows so definitely let me know if you guys have any suggestions on what we should do but i am so excited for our trip and i do plan on vlogging that so if you guys are interested in watching that make sure y'all are subscribed to my vlogging channel which is ashley's busy life Now we're heading into the little game room area upstairs. This is where my husband has like his PC and his gaming stuff set up. And we had quite the mess. The cat litter box, I don't know why, somehow it like fell over and the rocks spilled. So I had to clean up the rocks, put it back all together and then I had a bunch of boxes up here because we actually got a new bed frame for Adrian's bed and I had just put it together the day before and y'all I was exhausted <laughs> like after putting that together I just threw all the trash up here and I was like you know what I'll do it later so today I had to clean up the mess from the day before I brought the boxes downstairs shove them into our trash cans which they barely fit in there but thankfully i was able to squeeze them in there and get them out of the house
now back downstairs tackling my bedroom and my bathroom. It wasn't terrible. I just had a lot of clutter everywhere, so I wanted to do a really quick cleanup. It was getting close to the time that I had to go get the kids from school and then we actually were going out to dinner this night so I knew that I had to finish up all of my stuff before I picked the kids up and you know all the chaos started so I quickly got all the clutter picked up and then I wanted to wipe down the countertops and wipe down the glass because we did have a lot of stuff like splattered on it so I'm gonna do a quick clean in here before it's time to go get the kids from school Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be starting outside because my backyard is a disaster. We had a crazy windstorm, I think it was yesterday or the day before, tore up the backyard. I mean, it pushed our sofa off of the back porch. It is so messy out here and I'm really excited because I have some new storage bins that I'm gonna be using to help organize back here because we just have stuff everywhere. So we're gonna start off outside and then we're gonna head inside because it is now spring cleaning time. So I am super excited to get some deep cleaning done, maybe some spaces you guys have forgotten about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into it. So this is the back porch and we're supposed to have a couch right here. But here it is, and our carpet. I'm telling you guys, the wind was insane. I mean, look at this mess. So we're gonna get this backyard cleaned up. And here's my new planter box I got off of Amazon. I'm gonna be doing a home garden I told you guys about. So we are getting started, of course, by picking up all of the dog poop. So I quickly did that and then I grabbed a second grocery bag to pick up all of the like broken toys or wrappers 
It is so windy here in West Texas, so we constantly have trash everywhere. So I wanted to make sure I got up all the trash before I got started doing anything else. I must admit that the backyard is often neglected, especially in the winter time, just because we don't go out here that often. But now that it is starting to warm up a bit, I was really excited to get it all cleaned up and ready to start hanging out back here. I love the setup that we did. If you guys been here, you saw me get the new couch and the fake tree and everything for back here. But as you can see, you know, it blew away. So I really need to go get some bricks to like go at the bottom of the plant to keep it in place because it keeps falling over and it's just getting destroyed. So that is definitely on my list of things that I need to buy. But I went ahead and gave the porch a good sweeping before I brought the rug and couch back onto it. That way there was no dirt underneath it. And then I needed to really clean Ethan's water table. That thing was so disgusting. I have not like sprayed it and cleaned it out since summertime. So I went ahead and used my Dawn Power Wash. It did a good job at cleaning it. I mean, obviously it's pretty stained up, but at least it's clean and ready for him to fill back up and start playing with in the springtime. So like I said, we've been getting insane windstorms here in West Texas. So not only was my furniture all over the place, but so was the outdoor toys. And that was one huge reason why I was so excited to be working with Patio Well, which is today's video sponsor. They were kind enough to send me two of their outdoor storage bins. One is a smaller 28 gallon bin and then a larger 82 gallon bin. They were super easy to put together. The instructions were very easy to follow and the material felt really sturdy and you basically just had to snap most of the pieces together and they were ready to go. Ethan was super eager to help me out while we put these two bins together. And they are perfect for our crazy weather here in West Texas because they're made out of a very durable material. The larger bin was perfect for all the kids' outdoor toys because of its high capacity. Even the bigger items I was able to store inside of it. And on the larger bin, there's an option to even put a lock on here to keep people from getting inside of it. And I'm using the smaller bin for all of my couch pillows that keep flying away. So now my yard looks so much more tidy and organized with these sleek bins. Another amazing feature is that they are waterproof, so it will protect my items from the weather. So make sure you guys head down to my description, check out the link to Patio Well. They have other amazing items to choose from as well. And thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. Now it's time to get everything in place. I love this tree so much, but y'all, it's so beat up. <laughs> I really need to spray and like clean the bottom of the tree as well, but I'll have to do that another day. I do end up cleaning the couches though, because yeah, they are so filthy. I mean, they're constantly getting destroyed out here just from the weather. And then my dog, of course, loves to hang out on these couches out here so they just get dirty easy i don't think it was a very good idea to get light colored sofas for out here but it's fine i'm just gonna use some of my shout because i love shout it seriously works so good at getting stains out so i'm gonna spray it with some shout and then i fill up a little bowl full of super hot water and i put some laundry booster into it just to help 
really make sure I get those stains out and this did a great job it took it completely out of the couches they look so much better I almost brought out my pressure washer but you know I had so much other cleaning that I was planning on doing in this video after this so I just decided to use the water hose and it still did a great job at taking out all of the stains and it's going to be so nice having that container to store the pillows in that way those aren't flying all over the yard as well I've always been afraid that one of them are going to like fly over the fence and we're going to lose them and as y'all could see, Ethan was like so excited to help me clean this day. Like everything that I did, he was like, mom, can I do it? Can I have a turn? So we were taking turns back and forth, scrubbing the couches. He also, you know, wanted to sweep the porch. He's just getting so big. I can't believe he's three and a half and he's just a big help. Like he's very independent and wants to do everything on his own. And I love it. It's just so sweet watching him turn into a little boy. Oh my goodness, you guys, look how much better the yard looks. Like, honestly, if you guys would have seen how nasty it was, like, between the dog poop and papers, like, oh my gosh, such an improvement. And I'm so excited about my new storage bins. They're really going to help me stay organized and keep the yard looking clean for longer. Don't you it is now a new day and we are ready to get started on some more spring cleaning. So today we're going to be focusing on the kitchen. I went ahead and made a to-do list. That way I can make sure I tackled everything. Whenever I'm spring cleaning, of course, I like to make sure that I'm getting from top to bottom, everything in each area and just focusing on one space at a time. That way it doesn't get super overwhelming. So today it's the kitchen and also washing the curtains because the curtains are really gross. I've been needing to pull them down for quite some time. So we're gonna go ahead, pull the curtains down and then get started on. Battery died on me, but we're gonna pull the curtains down, get those in the wash once Adrian's clothes is done washing because Last night I ended up stop cleaning because Adrian got a stomach bug and it was a really rough night last night. So I've been sanitizing, washing everything. So yes, also doing all that fun mom stuff in between the cleaning. As y'all can see, I had quite a few stains on these curtains. The kids are so bad about like splashing their food on them. There was slime on them. We've also spilt like drinks and <laughs> it was long overdue for me to wash them. I mean, the ones in the living room really weren't dirty, but since I was going to be taking down the ones in the dining room, I was like, you know what? I might as well just wash the ones in the living room. And plus, this is a great way to get rid of some dust in your house. You will be so shocked when you pull down your curtains how much dust will come out of them. So if you can wash your curtains, I definitely recommend doing this or take them outside and just give them a good shake to get the dust out of it because it's crazy how much dust can trap inside of these. And of course, to get out the stains, I'm going to be using my shout because it is my go-to for literally everything. So I'm going to spray it with some shout. Like I said, I do have some laundry in the machine right now. So I'm going to let that soak on the stains for a little bit, and then we'll put those into the wash. And whenever I wash my curtains, I always do it on a delicate cycle. And I just do either warm or cool water just because, you know, sometimes if I have stains, like I feel like it doesn't really get them out unless I use warm water. And so far I haven't had any issues washing my curtains using warm water. I just always make sure when I dry them, I also do it on a delicate cycle and I make sure to use the lowest temperature or if you want to avoid that altogether, you can just hang your curtains directly out of the washer up onto the curtain rods and they'll dry hanging. So that is also an option if you would prefer to do that as well. But now we're heading into the kitchen and y'all look how disgusting the tops of my cabinets were like, oh my gosh, they were so gross. 
And I have heard people like laying down, you know, either um, some sort of paper or, you know, something at the tops cardboard. That way you can just pick it up and get rid of it, which I might end up doing. But as for today, I just went ahead and gave it a really good vacuum. And I am so thankful for my Dyson vacuum, you guys. I have never been able to do this because my previous vacuums were on like, you know, like a cord and you couldn't reach the hose up high enough. So having my Dyson is so awesome because I could not believe the amount of dust and the dust that collects on top of your cabinets. I'm not sure if you guys have tried like wiping it, but it also like builds up this really thick, almost sticky residue, I guess just from cooking and the grease. So it's actually really hard to wipe up if you try to use like a towel or a rag. Um, so the vacuum just made it 20 times easier for me. But not as much as this does, so baby bye. Let me know how you guys have been feeling. We currently have a awful stomach bug in our house. Like I mentioned so far, Adrian was the first to catch it and then Aubrey caught it and then Ethan, my three-year-old caught it. And so far, those are the three who have had it so far. We're going on day number four now of having it in the house. So I am praying so hard that the rest of us don't catch it. Like I have been cleaning up TMI. I know it's gross, but I have been cleaning up so much projectile vomit. It is awful. Like so awful. You guys, my 12 years of being a mom, I've never experienced, um, this bad of a sickness yet. Like as of me having to clean it up, this one definitely takes the cake it's been so awful. So I hope you guys are staying healthy. It seems like this bug is really going around everywhere. So I hope you guys haven't caught it, but if you did, I feel your pain. <laughs> I thankfully have not caught it yet. Knock on wood, but yeah, being on the other side of having to clean it up. Oh my goodness. It's awful. So yeah, between just like sanitizing and laundry, I have been so busy and you guys know we're going on vacation i am recording this vo voiceover before we go on vacation because this is a sponsored video so i have to film it just a little bit in advance that way they can approve it ahead of time so this is a little you know it's probably going to be about two weeks old by the time you see this but this is before our vacation and we're supposed to be leaving in about three days we're leaving in three days and I am just like, please, please let this stomach bug be completely out of the house before then because the trip that we booked is a non-refundable Airbnb and I'm just like, well, we're going throwing up or not. So, <laughs> oh my goodness. I just really hope it all ends up working out as planned and we have a good time, but it's definitely making me nervous how close it is to our trip. And also, funny story. <laughs> so we're going to Rio Doso, New Mexico, and we've only been one other time. We went last year with our friends, and last year when we went, our family had a stomach bug, and we thought it was completely gone. We went to New Mexico with our friends, and while we were there, they all got the stomach bug and they were throwing up the entire vacation. So we didn't really get to leave the Airbnb. I felt so bad for getting their entire family sick. And yeah, and now we're getting a stomach bug right before our family vacation. And <laughs> me and my husband were just like, wow, like how ironic that we would be getting a stomach bug right before Rio Doso once again. Like, what kind of luck is that? But yeah, I just thought I'd tell you guys that funny story. And I know it's gross, but hashtag mom life. Let's get 
But now we're in the kitchen doing some deeper cleaning. I like to wipe down the microwave probably at least once a month. Thankfully, we really don't get it too dirty in here. I mean, every once in a while there'll be a splatter, but for the most part, we keep it pretty clean. So I usually tackle this monthly, but since we're doing spring cleaning, I wanted to make sure that I put this on my to-do list. So we're gonna be doing a deep cleaning of my microwave. We're also going to be deep cleaning my oven underneath the oven we're doing inside my refrigerator underneath the refrigerator i mean i cleaned this kitchen <laughs> spotless it feels so good now that it's like all the way complete it was so worth all the effort like that is probably my number one reason why i love spring cleaning because there's just no other feeling than like knowing that you've literally tackled every area in your kitchen or your house. It's a good feeling, but boy, is it time consuming. <laughs> so another thing that is on my to-do list is cleaning the dishwasher filter. I definitely recommend doing this way more than one time a year because you will be shocked how dirty it gets. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it, but I cleaned mine recently, so it really wasn't that dirty, but when I cleaned it the last time, oh my goodness, the amount of food and just like caked on gunk that was on it was so bad. Like I was, I knew I needed to do it because our dishes weren't coming out clean, but oh my gosh, I did not realize how bad it was going to be. So this is my friendly reminder to you guys to make sure you're, che you're checking your dishwasher filter. So when you get in here, you just turn it counterclockwise and it will easily come out. And then what I like to do is inside the sink, I just use my sponge with some warm water and some soap and scrub the filter around it. And then I like to bang it upside down because a lot of food like gets stuck inside of it and then that's it like it's so easy to clean I felt intimidated like the first time that I started cleaning my filter I thought it was going to be harder than this but it's super simple and it makes such a big difference in your dishwasher definitely recommend and if you're wanting something a little bit more like stronger in your dishwasher like you want a better cleaning you can go ahead and put a cup full of vinegar on the top rack of your dishwasher run a hot cycle of water through it and it will clean everything inside of there leave it sparkling clean and your dishes will definitely be coming out really clean after that it makes a really big difference but now we're moving on to my cluttered countertop this is kind of my husband's catch-all spot as you can see he has his nebulizer attachments he has his asthma medicine over here and i needed to move it all into the basket this basket is where we keep our medicine up above like in the cabinet so i went ahead pulled that down went through the medicine really quick and got rid of like empty boxes and stuff like that and then i went ahead and put all his medication inside of the bin that way it's off of the countertop and i picked up the rest of the clutter put it where it belonged and I told my husband like you need to find a new catch-all space because I've been working so hard at trying to keep the kitchen clutter free it's definitely our catch-all spot but I'm trying really hard for it not to be so hopefully my husband can start collecting his things like on his nightstand <laughs> and then as you guys saw for like two seconds I completely forgot to hit record when I put the pink stuff inside of my oven I recently did a like deep clean inside the oven so it wasn't awful but I still have one section that is like caked on so I went ahead I used my pink stuff rubbed a thick layer on top of the areas that needed you know some love and I'm gonna let that soak and dry up on top of there and then we'll get to that but we are also cleaning the grates on top of my oven. I've had a few people ask like, do I ever clean the grates? And you guys, I'm gonna be real, I really don't. <laughs> I don't ever clean the grates on my stovetop because I mean, if they do get dirty, I just take my wet towel and just like quickly give it a wipe. But I will say that I am going to start cleaning the grates because when I pulled them off and flipped them over and looked at the underside, 
Y'all, it was disgusting. Like so much caked on grime. They were really sticky and gunky. So what I did is I just sprayed it with my Power Wash Dawn, let them soak in the sink while I cleaned the stovetop. And then I went in with my little hard bristle brush. I'm not sure what it's called, <laughs> but I go in with my bristle brush give it a good scrubbing it took all that grime off and the grates look brand new now it looks so nice and clean so i definitely recommend doing this you know in your spring cleaning it's a great time to tackle your grates um, because it did make a big difference and they look so much nicer now Now that the grates are nice and clean, it is time to wipe down the stainless steel. You guys know I love the yellow Windex. That's what I use for all of my stainless steel. Not only is it antibacterial, but it also leaves stainless steel really shiny. So that is always my go-to for my stainless steel. So I'm gonna wipe down the outside of my oven and then we're gonna be pulling it out and yeah, we're going to clean underneath. I recently cleaned the ground underneath my oven because I mentioned before our oven is currently not working as of this video, but it's, it's getting repaired. We're getting the motherboard replaced on it. So it will be functional. But, um, whenever I had to move it out and we were like looking at it and stuff, I decided to clean underneath of it. So the floor wasn't terrible, but the sides of my oven were filthy. I am such a messy cook. <laughs> Every time I cook eggs, I swear like the egg whites just like drip down the side of my oven and yeah, you'll see that. So we're going to clean the floor really quick. And then we're also going to give the sides of my oven a good wipe down. And here is the side of my oven y'all so gross and in case y'all are wondering what's inside my spray bottle this is a Grove spray bottle that I got from one of my Grove packages and inside of it I'm actually using the Scentsy all-purpose spray and the Johnny Appleseed scent it's one of my favorite scents from them and I really love this Scentsy sprays I think the scent of them, like it's lingering, it lasts a long time, they clean really well, and it's great because I buy it in concentrate, so you only pour like a fourth of the jar full of the concentrate, and then you fill up the rest of the jar with water. So I probably buy the Scentsy concentrate like once a year, and it seriously will last me all year long. Like it, it's definitely affordable, and I love the way that it smells. I'm a huge scentsy person just because the scents are so strong. And if y'all been here for a while, you know I love my house to smell good. And that's just a great way to make the house smell good and not spend as much money because I do feel like the waxes are overpriced, but their all-purpose spray is definitely affordable. 
but as you guys see i'm checking some things off of my list ah i just love getting to check things off i switch my curtains over into the dryer that way those could get done while i'm finishing up in the kitchen and here's the oven like i said i forgot to record me putting it on but i did get me taking off the pink stuff it got off some of the grime but I really need to buy a new razor to scrape off the rest because it is really caked on there. So I really need to get another razor because mine was so nasty. I had to throw it away and I just keep forgetting to buy a new one. Was a thirsty night when I first saw you. Those green eyes caught me. Yeah, it was crazy. It was a Friday night when I first kissed you. You struck me like lightning. You broke my chains and released me. And days turn into nights on the couch in your apartment. No, I am not the same. Everything has changed. Every day. Now it's time to pull out the fridge. I typically clean underneath my fridge once a year. Like it's not really something that I think about moving and cleaning under. So I definitely needed to give this some love. There was tons of crumbs and nasty stuff underneath here. So I went ahead and pulled out my vacuum to vacuum the floor because it was just way too much. Like I was not about to try to wipe that up. So we're gonna vacuum it and then we're gonna go in with my spray and just wipe down the floors really well underneath here before moving it back. So if you guys notice, there's a little dot of blue paint on the floor that's actually spray paint because when I first spray painted my chairs, if you guys remember like almost two years ago, I spray painted them a dark blue color and I put the spray paint up high in the pantry and I went to grab something out of the pantry and the spray can fell down and like the lid popped off and it squirted one little spray right like right next to where the like fridge ends so usually you can't see it because with the doors closed you can't tell that the spray paint is there but yes I got spray paint on the floor like right after we moved in I'm sure there's a way I can take it off I just haven't looked into it but in case you guys were wondering what that blue spot was it's spray paint but now it's time to move on to the inside of my refrigerator. This desperately needed some TLC. It was so filthy. I have been meaning to wipe it down, but I was like, you know what? I'm about to film my spring cleaning video. So I kept putting it off and it is finally time. And oh my gosh, you guys, <laughs> it was really bad. A lot worse than I thought it was going to be but that's okay. It's nice and clean now. And I went ahead and threw away a ton of stuff that was either expired or we no longer used. And it really helped freed up some space, especially on the side of the doors. That is the area where we struggle because we have so many like random condiments and sauces and yeah, it's always bursting at the seams. So it felt really good to get this cleaned up and organized again. I'm loving you too. Amen. 
So I'd love to know whenever you guys are doing your spring cleaning, where do you typically start? What's like the first area that you tackle and you want to get done? I'd love to know. This was actually the very first spring cleaning area that I started in, of course, the outside and the kitchen. I love starting in the kitchen because the kitchen is just like the heart of the house. I feel like it's the most used space so it often gets super dirty so i was really excited to tackle my kitchen get it spotless the one area that i needed to do that i didn't do was the pantry but i figured i can save this for another day because i already spent so much time cleaning the kitchen you guys i seriously was cleaning for the entire Saturday. I decided to do it on the weekend. That way I didn't have to like stop and go get the kids from school and all of that. And yes, it took me all day. And in case you guys didn't notice, my poor crispers, like this one, I couldn't even get it out without the top of it coming off with it. These crispers are so hard to pull in and out. Like they're just, they do not move very well. And because of that, all of the fronts of the crispers are broken because like we've had to literally pull so hard that it like cracked the plastic. I really need to try to order some new ones because these are just falling apart. They're awful. Like, I don't know why these get stuck so bad. I'm not sure if like, even if we buy new ones, if it's gonna fix the problem because I don't know, I feel like the way they made these crispers is nearly impossible to pull them in and out it drives me crazy i'm tempted to just like take the actual crisper out and just put a basket <laughs> it's like stick a basket in there because i mean it has the shelves so i really could because yeah these crispers definitely drive me crazy think i want to We are now down to the final thing I needed to do was just wipe down the bottom half of the cabinets. So I'm going to remove the clutter that I have over here. Y'all know this little coffee bar area is definitely my catch all. This is where I put all of our junk mail. So I cleared that away, wiped that down, and then we're ready to start wiping down the bottom halves of the cabinets definitely recommend get down on your hands and knees and check out the very bottom of your cabinets you guys because mine were so filthy you don't realize how much is like splattered down there until you actually get down on like eye level and check it out it's crazy like mine were super filthy so it felt really good getting them nice and cleaned up and all of that splattered stuff off of them Last. 
Oh my goodness, you guys, what a transformation. My kitchen is seriously gleaming. It is so clean and beautiful and uh, it just feels amazing. So last thing I had to do was hang up my freshly cleaned curtains and then I was gonna call it a day. I really hope this video motivated you guys. I hope y'all are enjoying this spring cleaning series that I have going on. I definitely have tons of more videos coming out with forgotten spaces and deep cleaning motivation and more decluttering, I'm sure, because I'm always decluttering my life. <laughs> but if y'all did enjoy it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. If you're new and you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, join my YouTube family. I would love to have you here. I do upload every single week, tons of cleaning motivation, but I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye hey guys. Welcome to my get it all done. Today's video is jam packed with not only cleaning motivation, but also a huge Sam's club haul that I will be sharing with y'all. We got a new blow up slide that the kids were super excited about that I'm going to be setting up. We're going to be doing laundry, cleaning, organizing my pantry, decluttering it, and so much if this is your first time watching, welcome. My name is Ashley. I'm a stay at home mom to four. And on my channel, I love sharing your realistic everyday messes, plus tons of decluttering, organizing, laundry, you name it. So if you enjoy cleaning content with a realistic mama, I hope you hit that subscribe button and stick around. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I thought we would do a get it all done because I have not done one in quite some time on my cleaning channel. So I am making the kids some pancakes for breakfast and then we're gonna be heading out to the gym. Then we have to go to Sam's Club to get some food because we just got back from the Kalahari Resort and we have no food in the house so we gotta stop by, get some snacks, some foods for the kids. And then we're gonna come home and we got to unpack, get laundry going, get some cleaning done, all of that good stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and get the day started. But first I'm gonna share with you guys my homemade coffee creamer that I'm trying out using date I'm gonna share it with you guys. So what I'm gonna be using is some half and half, a little bit of heavy whipping cream just to make it a little bit more creamier some date syrup and some vanilla extract to give it a little vanilla taste switch to date syrup because it's less processed it's just dates that's the only ingredient and it's low gi's so you don't get a spike in sugar i've been drinking this coffee creamer for about a week now and the flavor is definitely growing on me it tastes less sweet than using my stevia drops but I really love the taste of this. If you try out this creamer by itself before you add it to your coffee, it almost reminds me of like a maple donut flavor. It is really, really good. It's just a very subtle sweetness, but definitely give it a try if you guys are looking for something all natural and you don't mind having a little bit of sugar. I'm actually slowly trying to transition to no added sugar to my coffee. Just finished up at the gym. Now we are outside of Sam's Club. We're gonna run in, go get those snacks, and then I will share that haul with you guys whenever we get back home. I plan on sharing the full shop with me on my vlogging channel, so make sure you guys check that out if you enjoy shop with me's and grocery hauls, because I have tons of those videos on my vlogging channel, but I'm just gonna share a few little clips from inside the store. You guys it is hot outside we're ready to get home and then i will share with you guys our grocery haul just got back from sam's club i'm gonna go over everything that we picked up and the grand total so we're gonna start over here we got of course our red baron pizza we always pick these up as a quick and easy go-to meal so we got pepperoni and then cheese the kids are almost out of their cheese sticks, so we got some mozzarella cheese sticks. 
This is something we don't typically get, but since it's summertime and this is like a quick and easy lunch they can put into the microwave, I got some ham and cheddar Hot Pockets. We also picked up some of these Z-Bars. The kids really like these. The only one they're not a huge fan of is the chocolate brownie, but they do still eat them. And then I got a six pack of the green bell peppers. I figure we can do some fajitas or put them in our eggs for breakfast. We picked up a two pack of the honey wheat bread for sandwiches. I got me some 93% lean ground turkey. My husband doesn't like turkey, but the kids and I do. So I got two pack of that. We picked up some clothes that just looked really cute. I got Ethan these little Hurley shorts. I got me these Gap shorts. They feel so like comfy, perfect for around the house, but still like, you know, put together. And then Adrienne picked out some t-shirts. She still needs some more shirts when we went shopping. She just didn't find tons that she loved. So she picked this pack out. It comes with three. And then she also picked out this one. So cute love those and then i got a five pound pack of sweet potatoes i plan on cooking this as like one of my main carb sources this week i got a big thing of paper of paper plates we have recently been using paper plates just because during the summertime the kids are always snacking and stuff and we run out of dishes so i got paper plates for that I got some Hawaiian rolls. We have been making smash burgers, which is basically you just take the ground beef and you make the patties super thin. You put cheese on it and put it on a Hawaiian roll. And you guys, they are seriously so good. And then we picked up our go-to yogurt, the Oikos Triple Zero. I love this stuff. We got some strawberries. They just looked so delicious. And what I've been doing for my fruit is I've been rinsing it in water with baking soda and i let it soak for a little bit i picked up some pasture raised eggs the kids love these little belvita snacks and it comes with the three different flavors so we got those adrian begged for another thing of mangoes it's like eight something and you get all of these mangoes so it's a really good deal so we got tons of mangoes we're going to be snacking on this week i also got this three pack of organic grass-fed ground beef it's 85 percent lean the kids love applesauce so we got this big thing of applesauce they also picked out nutrigrain bars this week this is something new we haven't seen before it's called wiggles fruit juice gels it's basically like a jello but they don't have any artificial colors in here so i really liked that it does still have carrageenan which i wish wasn't in there but the kids really wanted to try it, so we're going to give that a try. I also got a really big thing of carrots. We like to cut those up and snack on them or use them for meals. I also got my favorite Baby Bella mushrooms. I love putting those in my eggs or stuffing them and having them as a side with dinner. The kids also picked out the Go Go Squeeze yogurts. They love those. Of course, had to get some more of my Kerrygold butter. It's my favorite. I got some wild caught gulf shrimp. I always buy wild caught, it's just so much better for you. It has so many more vitamins and minerals and everything. So always go for wild caught if you can. I got the wild caught Atlantic cod as well. I haven't had cod in a long time, so I thought that sounded pretty good. I also got the carb counter tortillas, a big thing of whole cashews. I love cashews, so had to pick some of those up. We also ran out of maple syrup, so we got our maple syrup, and I told the kids they could pick out one junkier snack, so they got these Dunkaroos. Our cups have been breaking, so I got this pack. It comes with eight of the smaller ones. It says it's shatterproof, so we'll see. We're gonna put it to the test. And then we got a big thing of paper towels. We are just about out. And then we got the kids some sparkling ice drinks. They love those. We got spring water this time. I think we're gonna switch to spring water. And then we're also gonna be trying these out for the first time. It is the Sam's Club brand chips. So that is everything that I picked up. The grand total was $480. And I also got two bags of salt for our water softener. 
Now it's time to put all the groceries away. And this is honestly the thing that I really dread doing because it takes so long. Don't get me wrong. When I get done, it's so satisfying to sit back and just see everything organized and put away. But the process of doing it, oh my goodness, it's it's very overwhelming and daunting, but it is worth the time and effort to organize your food and just make sure everything has a place. So for me, I ordered some of these clear containers off of Amazon, and then I have some other ones that I got from Sam's Club. I love both of them. I'm actually ordering some more stuff for my freezer because I desperately need to organize my freezer. So make Make sure you guys have that bell on. I plan on doing that video very soon. I'm waiting for those organizers to come in and then I will be filming that, which I'm so excited about. I plan on doing inside the house, the freezer and our deep freezer outside. So it should be pretty motivating. I will try to link all the containers that I'm currently using in case you guys are interested in looking at those. They were pretty affordable compared to like some of the clear containers because they can get pretty pricey. So I always try to look for a good bargain. You guys look how bare the pantry is. I need to uh, vacuum up the little pieces from the onions and we're gonna get this cleaned up. Was debating on pulling off the stuff on the shelf and giving it a good wipe down but honestly I was like you know what I already have so much stuff that I need to put away I just wanted to get it done so I just vacuumed it up that way there wasn't you know like food crumbs and stuff everywhere and then we're gonna be putting everything into the pantry as neatly as I can this pantry is a little tight for us I feel like we run out of space so I'm really trying to not over buy when I go to Sam's Club which is definitely Definitely harder during the summer months because the kids are with me and they always want to add on extra stuff especially if I'm inside the store and they're with me so I, I usually try to do curbside pickups but every once in a while I'll go into the store especially if I want to film a like shop with me or something you know I'll go in there but I try to stay out it definitely helps whenever you're on a budget to shop online and do curbside pickups whenever you can I knew I was going to have the container of water plus I had some other things down at the bottom of the pantry. I wanted to get rid of the box that had the mighty dog food I think is what it's called. So I went ahead pulled everything out of the box stuck it in the little basket. That basket in the pantry has all of the dogs treats, bones, dog food, cat food, all of that. So I tried to stuff it all into that basket to fit as neatly as I possibly can. But now that the pantry is a bit more organized, we can start filling all of my containers with the kids snacks. And I tried really hard to make this aesthetically pleasing looking. I really wanted it to be super cute, but y'all there was way too many applesauces and I knew that I needed to fit them all onto this little swivel thing. So I tried to make it pretty, but they ended up all falling down. So <laughs> it's just real life. I was like, you know what? We're just going to shove them on there and call it a day. trying to switch the kids over to 
a bit healthier snacks. I feel like most snacks that come in a package are not that great quality to begin with. So I'm trying to slowly switch over to a bit healthier. And then I honestly want to start trying to make some homemade snack items, especially during the summertime, because they're constantly asking for food. And I just don't like them eating that many snacks. For one, it's so expensive. And for two, I don't want wrappers everywhere and it's just not good for them. So I've actually been checking on Pinterest and just getting fun snack ideas. I do plan on creating a video about just like some fun snacks that the kids like. So I plan on uploading that on my vlogging channel, but I really am trying to just switch over to more all natural foods, not only for myself, but also for the kids and just find things that are quick and easy where I could bake it and then just have them ready to go. And I'm all about helping others figure out quick and easy meals and fun snack ideas that are kid approved. So I will definitely share what snacks the kids end up really loving and stuff that's just kind of simple to make and store. Playing trances, going all to different places, different planets. Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance. What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty handed. You like the fast life, you like to drive, get down and dirty, like, like the bad guy. It is so nice to see the pantry nice and restocked and organized again. It has been so hot, so I promised the kids that we would get a big blow up water slide. It just came in last night, so we're gonna go ahead, set this up for the kids to play on so I can get this house cleaned up because y'all, my house is so messy so let's yes. tackle it not gonna lie i was really nervous about setting this up i was hoping i was gonna be able to do it by myself thankfully this was awesome i ordered it from sam's club and it was so easy to put up and the kids absolutely loved it all right moment of truth i got everything set up hopefully right we're gonna turn on the water now <laughs> is it cold? <clears throat> it's not wet enough. It is now the next day. Yesterday was crazy after Sam's Club. I went upstairs and discovered that our AC unit stopped working and then it randomly started working again. Thank goodness, by the evening, I had to cut the grass. My battery was overheating. We have an electric lawnmower, and it's so hot outside that it just it couldn't run, so I had to bring the batteries inside, let them cool down overnight. This morning, I finished cutting the grass after I set up the bounce house for the kids, went and cleaned myself up, and now I'm finally ready to get started on all of this laundry and get some cleaning done because my house looks so bad. I really wanna just clean the downstairs, mop the floors, and just do a really good reset in here. So let's go ahead and get it all done. The house was really starting to bug me. I was so ready to tackle the mess and get it done. So first off, I'm going through all of the luggage, getting out the dirty clothes, and then putting the luggage back where it belongs.
now that all of the laundry is gathered, I can start tackling some of this. So I wanted to get it going. And just an update, I am still using the Molly Suds laundry detergent. You guys know I'm switching to all natural cleaners and I love the way that this stuff cleans. I feel like it does get all of the like funky smells and the dirt out of the clothes. Our clothes have been really clean. And like y'all have suggested, I started adding the essential oils onto my dryer balls. I was trying to put it in the uh, like softener spot. I put vinegar for a softener which works great but I was trying to add essential oil in there and I just had a few people say like it probably isn't that good for my washer to do that so I just started adding it onto the dryer balls and I do feel like it does leave a little scent behind I'm using orange right now I think I'm gonna go back to the stores and see if I can find like I don't know something that be might be a little bit stronger for the laundry if y'all have any recommendations for what essential oil I should use on my dryer balls let me know down in the comments I would love to hear what you guys are using and what you're loving but as for the laundry detergent I am really enjoying the Molly Suds and I'm currently using the citrus scent By this time, the kids were ready for a break off of the water slide. They wanted to come in, of course, eat because they were hungry. And we were waiting for the sun to kind of hit more in our backyard. Usually during the morning hours, it's shaded back there. And then, you know, a little bit later in the afternoon, it starts fully getting covered by the sun so the water could heat up and it would be a little bit warmer and that's usually when it's scorching hot outside in the backyard because it's been like 110 to 115 for the last few weeks it has been brutal it has finally cooled down just a little bit uh, starting yesterday the highs were like 95 which feels so good <laughs> compared to the weather we were having it feels so much better so I'm hoping it stays in the 90s I can deal with the 90s but 110 is no joke like you don't want to go outside you don't want to do anything After I got done doing some of the hand washing, I started having Austin pick up the clean dishes and then Adrian will be loading up the dishwasher. After I get done cleaning up in here, I just wanted to clear away the clutter off of the counters. And then I also wanted to do the hand washing because Adrian doesn't do that. She just loads the dishwasher. So I had full intentions of spray painting these chairs for the get it all done for this video. I really wanted to do that, but because we had the water slide up, I was like, well, I guess I'm gonna have to wait because I usually just spray them in the backyard. But I am so tired of putting off this project. I've got to get this done. I also have the laundry room makeover. Like I bought the paint and the wallpaper months ago. I just have not gotten around to it. I feel like life has been so busy, which is great. It's been so much fun. Like I said, we just got back from a family vacation, so it's been really awesome, but I have so many little projects that I want to do, and I just haven't gotten around to it. By this time, the laundry was ready to be switched over, so I switched it over. I'm also hanging up some items that I just didn't want to shrink in the dryer. 
I typically throw everything into the dryer, but we did recently go summer shopping and there are a few pieces that me and Aubrey picked out that I know if I put it in the dryer, it would completely shrink. It's that like knitted material. So went ahead, pulled those out and hung dry those. When you break my heart like that, like it feels sorry. Now it's time to start tackling all the clutter that was on the floors and getting the floors cleaned up. One of the main things I wanted to do was mop because my floors desperately needed to be mopped. So we're gonna pick up all the clutter, I'm gonna vacuum, and then we're gonna get to mopping. That way it just feels like a new start downstairs, fresh and clean. Girl, I see your face everywhere. When I'm going out, you'll be there. Everything reminds me of you, I can't take no more Girl, I think I'm losing my mind Try to go to work, but I lost track of time Cause everyone keep looking like you, I can't take no more so I thought I would update you guys on how I'm feeling about my Dyson vacuum. I have had a few people ask me like, what do I think about it now that I've had it for quite a few months. If you guys are new here, my husband bought me the Dyson cordless vacuum for a Christmas gift. I have been wanting a cordless vacuum for a while and I was really on the fence of what brand I should get. I'm a die hard shark fan. I love my shark corded vacuums. The suction is just amazing. So I was really torn between getting a shark or getting a Dyson, but after tons of consideration, I decided to go with the Dyson and I love this vacuum. Not only is it really convenient, which is probably the number one reason why I haven't brought out my shark vacuum because it's just so nice to take it off of the charger and start cleaning whatever I need to clean. I don't have to worry about finding an outlet and dragging out the cord and picking it up. So for one, the convenience makes it so worth it. And for two, I find that the suction is really good for hard floors especially like it picks up so much mine comes with the hard floor attachment I've heard that not all the models come with the hard floor attachment so I would recommend if you're looking at the Dyson make sure you get the hard floor attachment mine has like a little light and you seriously see every crumb on the floor I love it and then for carpets I find that the suction is really really good as well the only thing that I'm not really impressed with is when you use the handheld suction, don't get me wrong, it works good, but like if you wanted to go vacuum your car, it's not so good. I feel like that's when you really realize that it doesn't have the suction like a corded vacuum. But other than that, I absolutely love it and I think it's so worth the money. It's just so convenient. But as you guys saw, I just got done cleaning the dining room table and I wanted to take a moment to mention the new wood cleaner that I've been using. It's by Aunt Fanny. I ordered it off of Amazon and the scent is lemon and you guys, I love this stuff. It smells so good. I even checked the EWG rating on it. It's rated an A. So it's a great all natural cleaner. And I'm happy to report that it smells so good. It smells so strong. I love it. So I think I'm gonna be sticking with Aunt Fanny for my wood cleaner. If you guys haven't tried it out, definitely check it out. I'll be sure to link it for you guys. Now that the floors are all vacuumed it's finally time to start mopping it is desperately needed so I'm gonna be using the Dr. Bronner's cast aisle soap in the lavender scent and you guys I love the cast aisle soap it makes the entire house smell so good when I get done mopping so I still get the really nice scent that lingers in the house but it's all natural and I don't have to worry about you know my animals or anything so 
definitely recommend giving the cast aisle soap a try whenever you mop the floors and I just make sure my water is super super hot I know some people boil their water but I just make sure mine is really hot to help kill some of the germs I think it is so funny how every time I start mopping, the kids all of a sudden need to get up and go somewhere right over wherever I'm mopping. <laughs> like, it never fails. They just love stepping in the wet, freshly cleaned floors and spreading their little footprints. I love this dining room area view like these colors just make me so happy something about the like off-white and that seafoam green ugh, I love it so much I've really been thinking about painting our master bathroom in that color if you guys see our off like my office area where I have my workout equipment and stuff we already have a wall that color in there but I just love that color so much so I don't know I've been kind of thinking about doing some painting projects let me know if you guys like seeing like a painting video or do you not really enjoy that I know it's kind of boring like I always feel like it's too repetitive to sit there and watch someone paint an area but let me know what you guys think the kids have been watching this new show on Netflix called is it cake it's a really cute show they've been obsessed Ooh, you guys I worked up a sweat <laughs> mopping the floors but it feels so good the downstairs looks so much better I'm gonna tackle some of this laundry get it folded and then I'm finally gonna relax for the day the kids played on the water slide for a couple hours and then they came in because they were getting a little chilly now the Sun is like full blazing in the backyard so I'm sure the water is gonna warm up for them they're gonna enjoy it for a few more hours and then I'm probably gonna pick it up because I don't know if our sprinkler system will like because it comes on um, pretty early morning hours and I was gonna leave it up for about two days and then pick it up but I was like man if the sprinklers come on I don't want it to like pop a hole in the bottom of it or something so I'm just gonna pick it up so I told them they can play on it a few more hours later in the evening and then we'll go ahead dry it up put it away hopefully it's gonna be easy to fold back up should be interesting but let's go get some laundry folded real quick to show you my intention my brain gets blocked at times but now somehow i'll give you my attention you've got to know that i i ain't a person who understands just looking at this area makes me feel overwhelmed <laughs> like it's just so much laundry but I am happy to say that I got through all the laundry by the next day. Like I was on a mission to tackle it all. So I did get it all done, even though I'm only going to share one load of laundry that I'm folding because that's super repetitive. I love sharing like full laundry days, but I figured in today's video, I'm just going to share one load. And after this load, I actually have Aubrey start pitching in because that is my oldest daughter's chore is to fold at least one load of laundry. And actually now that it's summertime, I'm also adding on her cooking because I feel like I've really been slacking on teaching her how to cook like a lot of different things. So that is on my to-do list this summer is to teach her how to cook and just have her feel a bit more confident in the kitchen. I'd love to hear when did you have your kids start cooking um, or when did you start cooking? For me, I really didn't cook that much until like late, late high school. Like I, I barely cooked anything. It was like ramen noodles 
cinnamon rolls, uh, scrambled eggs. <laughs> that was really it. So I just want to make sure Aubrey is prepared whenever it's time for her to venture off on her own, that she knows how to cook up a good meal for herself. We are now at the end of today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. I'd love for you to stick around. I upload new videos every single week and I would love to have you here. But I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye. Making some grilled cheese, tomato soup and salad for dinner for the kiddos.